Okie dokie. G'day, g'day, g'day. Howdy! Corbs here with another Red Dead RP stream. This is George Hughes. On the Diablo RP server. Is that a wolf walking around in the background? Ooh. Everyone's been having a good weekend. I completely forgot that it was Sunday. <laughs> I was, I was thinking, oh, it's Saturday, right? Like, no, it's Sunday. Saturday was yesterday. But then, yeah, I've got a public holiday tomorrow. So, again, I, if, 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 um, if I'm having lots of fun tonight, I can stay up late. Re well, kind of late tonight. But tomorrow, I do really need to get some, um, run some errands and stuff. So, but it should be a good night. Good night. Ugh. I think they did some updates and patch stuff throughout the day, so, I don't know, Guess we might see some changes or something, um, we'll go on duty for a bit, oh, can't put the badge on until I go on duty, hello, is anyone else around? Uh, we've got sledges around and Harkness is around. Law badge. Uh huh. And let's go. Ooh. Ah! Get through the damn doll. Check the uh, check the old telegrams. It's gonna see. What I'll be doing tonight, whether I'll be doing just lore stuff tonight, or we've gone on a bit of a side quest, maybe do a was it a legendary beaver hunt? We'll go fishing or something just to break it up. It's important to have. Is that? Want to wear a mouth? Oh, here comes trouble. There goes trouble. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <sighs> oh, NPC out of nowhere. Hello. Someone's hat. What's happened here? The door's ajar? This door as well. Someone's been running amok. Do, 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 do. Doctor en route to Armadillo. It's rough. Do, 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 do. Country roads. Take me home. Do the place. Regarding beavers. Tomorrow evening sounds good. Steal your way then. Bring fishing supplies in case of in case of lack of legendary beavers. Best Cynthia Wheeler. Uh, so that was well, that was technically in the AM today, so I'm assuming means tonight. But as a literally minded fella, that could mean legit, like the literal tomorrow. So that could be Monday night. So we'll see how one way or the other. At the very least, I'll do a bunch of law stuff tonight, and then it did mean tomorrow. Then I'll just I'll jump on George Hughes again tomorrow. George Hughes, three days in a row. What is this? August 
Yes, there is. Sorry, hold on. Hey, Marcus. Yes, it's me. I'm in my not me fit. What is this horse doing, brother? I'll go to the stable. Hey, Mrs. Phenom. Just finished watching a stream from last night. George in the bath and woodman with his hand caught in the middle too. It's <laughs> it was, wasn't it? It was a long session. Goodness, that must have been that must have taken all day. Eight hundred fifteen in the bank, and then yeah, I do have some fishing supplies. I got some. Uh, I believe I got a bunch of arrows. Um, yes, that'll be good. So yeah, if that happens, I'll be I'll be ready to roll. Um, I would assume that. Harkness and Sledge are on patrol. They very well could be up in um, Valentine or Strawberry by now. So we'll head. I'll check the bison real quick. Gotta check. Gotta check the bison. Gotta check the bison. This is sassy, watch out. There we go. But yeah, do you want me to take you hunting? That's new. Jesus, that is that is quite the bridge. That is, that is quite a bridge. There are quite a few people around. Well, two people riding around over there. Group of three. Maybe, who's that? It's literally, it's literally Miss Wheeler. Law Department, stop! Cease your fire on those bison or I will shoot! Cease your fire on them bison! Oh! Put your hands down, George. Put your hands up. Put your hands down. Put your hands up, ma'am. That's illegal. You leave these bison alone. What's left of them? Oh, George, come on. It's against the law, ma'am. Let's ma settle this the proper way. 
You're gonna upset a lot of Native Americans. They're gonna come scalp we you if you don't you keep this up. We were coming to make sure they were okay, George. Yeah, we were protecting them. You mind holding still? George, come on. George, you know me, come on. I'm asking you all to walk away now. Get off my horse. <laughs> George, come on. I'm asking y'all to move away right now. You might want to put that gun down. I said leave the bison alone! Dear me, me, what has happened to him? You want to take your people and get out of here? Look after George. Jesus Christ. Hey, Hammer. Not even 15 minutes in and people being shit. Literally point a gun at someone and they just point a gun back. It's all right, let's get you away from these maniacs. It's like GTA 1 or 2. I don't know, I didn't play those. I just know it was like straight down. Oh, too far. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think I called a doctor. <laughs> the black vodka will heal all. We're kidding when you said you really care about those bites. Can you hear me, George? Uh. All right, I called for help.
后。Well, good doctor training for it. I don't know shit about medical sh stuff. Just gonna take bits and pieces from what I've seen other people do. Well, you can't go towards the light because we haven't got the beaver yet, so <laughs> you said it was on your bucket list. <laughs> You're not allowed to die, all right? <laughs> Maybe until later. <laughs> then you can go. <laughs> Wasn't even sure who I was seeing out there in the Great Plains, but then I saw you shooting people over bison. Well, then I thought, mm, yeah, that's George. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't heard back yet if the doctor's even coming. Me either. I don't even know what to do. Maybe give it another four minutes. All right. Just, I think they were down in Armadillo. Right. What do you do? I don't think that's going to help anyone if you stomp on the head when they're on the ground like that. How long does the doctor take? Apparently they were lost in Armadillo, so it might oh. take a while. You can go through the room and take us to the local doctor. Might do Where that. is it? Help me, Dottie. Help me, George. He shot Where's... me. 
Where's the Help. local doctor? He's George, he shot me. Be careful. He shot. I was just trying to teach them to hunt. Okay. Is it in here? George, George Sheriff George. Next. No. How do I even put you on the ground here? Get <laughs> here. Oh, my back! God damn! Mr. Hughes? Howdy. What the hell happened? Um, you're out in the Great Plains. People were shooting at the bison, and then you shot at them because they weren't listening to you. I assume because they were riding around you in circles. So then you got shot. Right. That that'll be a that'll explain the severe chest pain. That's okay. That's okay, Mister. I uh, cleaned you, you up with some black vodka. So that, that I heard that's a good stuff. My name's Bonson. Oh, no, no, don't waste the black vodka. I'd waste it on you. Oh, thank you. Is that, was that some good doctor training for you? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. I think the doctors are all down in Armadillo, so I had to take you out back. Well, it was nice, nice to meet you, only, um, Bonson. Bon. I guess if they're not <laughs> here by now, I take it they're far off. That's mm -hmm. fine. There, there yeah, might only fun. be a couple of them around. How do I get up? Uh, I ain't sure. Maybe just take it slow. Try a few things. Try a few muscles. Oh, there uh, you go. There we go. How you feeling? Oh, Jesus. Oh God. Take, take it slow, and also the people downstairs might not be quite happy with you right now. Are they the ones hurting bison? Well, there were two of two of them who were hurting bison who went down. So with you. Two I, for I one don't know anyone's name, so. Right, we better see if the other lawmen are around. Oh dear. Oh! Ah! Foot in front of the other. Oh! Oh! A hazard to society. This ain't a good start to a shift. Right. <laughs> I better walk back down the station see if I don't know I'll Jack or someone's you. around. <laughs> oh God. You know what the you know what the Native Americans do if they catch you hunting bison? The scalper? Yep. Sweet angel, how are you? Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm well, how are you? I'm good. How you been? What you been up to? I'm just walking Mr. Hughes here to the station because he just been has a gunshot wound, so. Hughes? Naughty man. Naughty man. Oh, my back. Excuse me, I was protecting Bison, thank you very much. You weren't. This lovely lady, Mr. Hughes. You hurt me. Was that you oh. hurting the bison? No, she would we never. We were going to make sure they were okay, and you shot me. Now I'm back, so. What would you see, Miss Wheeler? I was quite far away. I didn't actually see the full confrontation. I did hear gunshots, but I wasn't. You know, I don't have binoculars. You fucked up my back, George. You'll pay. And if you hurt any of those bison calves, you'll pay. Don't you threaten me, young man. You're the one that how do we call it? A time for now. If you know what's good heal. for you, you'd forget that ever happened. You're the one that approached me after a doctor's visit, you dumb fuck. Jesus, just trying to get back to the department. Oh, 
Uh, I'm gonna take a seat. Oh, mm -hmm. Smart out. You all right? You need anything to eat or drink? I'm gonna need a minute, ma'am. If you need to get be somewhere, I'm gonna be a bit of time. Have a bit of time. That's fine. I'll uh, be around. Do you need me to unlock the door? No, I'm all right. I need to go in my head for a moment anyway. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> hey, Rando. Hey, Minty. Hey, Decent. Hey, Shell Bunny. Look, I'm alright. I'm just... Hey, Mrs. Phenom. Okay. I just... There's, there's some aspects of RP... There's some aspects of RP that are really great. Oh, hello. Some that are just absolutely dog-awful. Hey, partner, sorry, just dealing with a lot of paperwork. Ah, you are right, man. How are you? Oh, look, I've been better. Cool, well, let's go deal with that, then. I don't know if I want to. I really don't know if I want to. Um... Well, yeah, it's, the tricky part is, on one angle you've got that I don't, on the, before the reset, I believe there was like a guide that was available to all players in the Discord, which detailed, you know, a bunch of the basic rules and stuff. And there was like a big section about what you can and can't hunt, you gotta have a hunting license, there was a bunch of changes, yada, yada, yada. Um, as far as we know, um, and this is, we're, we're, a lot of the law department, we are... There's a firearms demonstration. Oh, just people showing off guns? Yeah, they got a new gun, he was like, watch this. <laughs> and they, um, and, do, and they chose to do that in town. I, I told them, next time you do it, I will arrest you, but this time, just take it out of town if you want to do that kind of thing. Go to the Heartlands. <laughs> yeah. All right, fair enough. Um, look, look, fellas, I think it's probably best if I go on patrol. There's someone I need to try and grab a hold of here in Blackwater, but I think it's best if I go on patrol just Valentine, Strawberry, and Emerald Ranch for the rest of the night. Yeah, we're going to Valentine now if you want to come. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll meet you there. All righty, sounds good. Don't try and go on the train tracks, it throws you off. Um... What was I saying? Like, yeah, the bison. So, yeah, like, as far as we know, but we, like, we don't even have, as the law department, we don't even have the full picture yet of what's the same, what's different with, with version two. Um, so I'll see, where's Miss Wheeler? And look, they're fighting in the street. But if I go and say anything about that, I'm the bad guy. And I'm unreasonable. Horses. Oh, sorry, sir. It's a street. Well, that's the thing, Minty. You... You try and tell people this stuff as the law department lately, and you are 100% the bad guy. There's, there is no, 
it feels like there is no room at all for people to see that you are just trying to roleplay as a lawman trying to maintain law in civilized society. It feels like on a player level and a character level that they just see it's completely unreasonable for you to be telling people to stop acting up like that. And it's getting really ridiculous um, where it's like even just warning people to stop doing basic stuff oh, howdy. is they're going to then find ways to one-up you in character and then take it out of character if they need to. And it's really uncomfortable. I, I'm the trouble, apparently, Looper. I'm the trouble. Um, I am the trouble. I should just quit the law department. And maybe, maybe I should just quit RP altogether because, like everything, people have to ruin everything. I, I'm just... It's, it's very depressing that ever since I've started doing RP... It's been one of the best things I've done with gaming in recent years, and also the worst thing. And it always feels like once I get on in a bit of a stride, it always feels like someone or multiple people feel the need to break through everything I try to do with it and try and be fair and funny and try to be pretty easygoing and break it down. And then I, I step back, I take a break, I try and come back to it, and then the cycle continues. That's how it feels, and it's it's uh, it is upsetting. I'm getting to the point where I feel like, as a as a law character, there's nothing I can do right. And then people are just generally not following fear RP, fail RP rules, or just basic RP. There's no... It's not grounded, a lot of the stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. That's all I'm going to say on that. It's just... It's, exa it's exhausting. It's really exhausting. And I've come really close to just ending the stream tonight and just not continuing. Was really looking forward to doing more tonight. But now I really don't... I'm really fighting the urge to just stop. Cool. I try, uh, tr Jimmy. So I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I've only been watching you for a few days, mate. But it's hard now with RP. No matter what game, that's why so many are going whitelisted. But even that doesn't stop the fail Hi RP. There, 
it's... It's... I don't... I'm having a... I, if, if anyone that watched last night's stream, I had in character chat discussions with Todd Woodman, my fellow lawman, and also Dolores from the Doctor's appointment. And it's... The, uh, there's a sort of a bit of a weird vibe at the moment where a lot of players since the reset, um, a lot of fail RP, fear RP, and sort of like a grounding in realism has just sort of taken a backseat more than usual. Um, an issue I'm really having lately as a lore character is that we've always been... We've always been really... As law, as one of the original law recruits on the server, we've always been really taught to go easy on people at first with warnings, and if you're going to charge them fines or jail time, to go ease into it. You don't want to go like from one to ten too quick because it's not it's not fun for anyone. Um, you want to ease into it. Um, so there's been a lot of warnings since the reset because we understand a lot of people are frustrated. And still finding their feet after the reset, because it's you know it was hard for it was hard for a lot of people, myself included. So we're trying to go easy on everyone, because a lot of people have shifted from Strawberry and Valentine to Blackwater, and there's a lot of updates going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so we're trying to go easy easy with it here on the west side. Another, a big reason is because we just don't have the numbers to combat everyone. Um, but then a lot of people aren't listening to the warnings we give. And we're try we've tried to be really reasonable and polite about it. But it's getting to the point where we're going to have to escalate it. But then people are just finding that it's just, it's now it's, it's becoming like a, okay, this person's done this, now we're going to do this. And then this person's done this, now we're going to do this. And it's just escalating. And it's getting unreasonable. And it's like we're finding many occasions where we'll draw pe guns on people first. And they don't care. They don't care. Even when they then realize, they should be realizing that they were not first to draw gun, they still just draw it back anyway. They don't care. They don't care. And that is one of the most basic mistakes you can make in, in RP. There, uh, yeah, there's going to be some agitation over there. Oh, I don't care right now. They want to be fuck. They all want to be fuckwits. Let them. I'm at that point tonight. You know what? Just do what, you know, they can just do whatever they want. How about, instead, we just have no lawmen on the server? How about that? And everyone can just fucking circle jerk each other and giggle like children. Let's do that instead. Very good reason why I just want to play a bit as my alt character that's just a train driver. Is this shit this shit can be exhausting when it really doesn't need to be. Um It's 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 insane and like it's like real life in that and especially the wild west if you didn't just follow rules in that and basic instructions from lawmen in that and then you're surprised that there's consequences i'm afraid you're an idiot how many of these can you carry Fifteen? Why can't you? I thought I thought you could carry twenty. No, just fifteen. That's right. There's a, there's a lot of disappointing things going on, 
And a big one, and another big one, is, is the way that Hammer has been trying to get, like, Pinkerton stuff happening. But of course, as he's one of the streamers on the server and everyone can see what he's doing, people can't help but talk and take it too far, and then they've ruined it for him. People that shouldn't know he's a Pinkerton just magically know, and then they tell everyone. And I remember when the server first opened last year, a few weeks in, I was invited to become a Pinkerton back when it was like the original leader of it, Dagwood Banner, was around. And I said, no, thank you. Th I said, thanks, but no thanks, because I knew that people would just watch the stream and metagame. And that's exactly what they've done with Hammer now, nine months later. These are the people that at school, when they were kids, couldn't follow the rules and would ruin everything for everyone else that just wanted to have fun. And as someone that's now in their 30s, I don't want, I don't want to be experiencing that anymore. So when that stuff happens in things like this, I just want to take a step back and not deal with it. Because I don't need that sort of bullshit in my life. When I'm trying to work a full-time job, pay rent, pay bills, try and find time to fly around the country to do side work for what is my dream career, then all I want to do is try and have a bit of fun on Twitch and see how I go there. And then when I find that I have a bit of a knack for doing RP in a cowboy game, and it's great as a way to hang out and meet friends, and then people have to fuck it up. And be unreasonable. It's unnecessary stress and it's bullshit. It's not fun. I'll be honest with you, Brox. I've been better, man. I'm feeling pretty shit right now, bro. I'm pretty... I've felt pretty close to just ending the stream tonight. But I'm trying to hold on to the fact that there's some good players that are good characters that are wanting to do some nice stuff tonight. And I'm really just trying to hold on to that and have some fun with that. But in all honesty, I feel actually quite upset. And I'm really trying to hold it together. I thought I had done enough breathing exercises while I was away from the computer there for a bit to, to feel a bit more level-headed, but I don't. I actually feel really, really upset. People suck, baby fat. People suck. And I'm I'm trying to meet I'm trying to meet everyone in character halfway. Because generally I prefer to play Hughes as he's pretty lighthearted. He's a funny slapstick silly character that tries to have a heart of gold. But people are really pushing it. And I'm really losing my patience. I, I, d I don't know how to handle this stuff, Looper. I have, n I have never known... I have never known how to deal with this stuff in games or real life. I was always the kid at school that was left out of things and treated like shit. So I would just go and hang out in the library. I would just go and go to the computer lab. I would just... I would just go and do stuff by myself. Because some people cannot be reasoned with. And 
And I'm going to try really hard now to not keep talking about this stuff and just try and get in the zone and have fun with this for what's left of the night. I'm going to really try. But I'm really sorry, everyone. I'm just feeling a bit fucking down right now. But I'm going to try really hard to just tr sort of just get on with it now. I might go. I might go grab another beer. I appreciate that, baby. That like, there's a lot of really good people on the server, but I'm feeling pretty frustrated right now that some people that I thought were really great are turning out to not be so great. And it's really disappointing. Because some of these people I've invited to do something really cool later in the year, if they're available. And now I feel really fucking betrayed. Thanks, Stinky. And I've always been really open when I've made mistakes on the server. There's been times where I have... I have gone in... I've stupidly gone into RP praise. And I've basically done... Gone in there to explain how I've been... In the wrong. I've even self... I've... In a, there was one time where yeah, I was annoyed at some people. But I essentially self-reported myself being like... Look, they may have done this, but I did this. So, like... You need to give me a warning. And I am the first to admit that there's a lot of times where players are really pushing it and then I'll react way more harsher than I usually would as Hughes. I will be happy to, happy to admit that. People need to own up to the fact that they're being fucking ridiculous lately. And they're making it really hard for people that are just trying to be cool about it. I don't think there's any... So there's a phone. I don't think there's any armories or anything. Oh no, there's a locker. I don't know how this one works. Knock, knock. Hello? Hello, it's Louisa. Howdy, Louisa. What brings you to Strawberry tonight? Oh, oh well, I was just, you know, getting out of Blackwater because it seemed a bit dangerous. Ha have you been to Valentine recently? The no. bakery there uh, has a, a, the apple pie now. The apple pie? I can't. Yeah. I, I haven't been to Valentine's, and I've only really just gotten out of Blackwater recently. So, does not seem like a good place to be tonight. Here, you should try this. Try, oh, I, I just filled myself up with with a with a frontier fillet stew. I think is it right if I eat it later? Oh, oh yeah. It's a. I guess you can have it for dessert when you feel like it. <laughs> that would that would be nice. Here, let me just lock the door real quick before I forget. Sure. Alright. So, so what, uh, what does a lawman like you like doing uh, when you're off duty? Well, what do you like to do when you're... honestly, I I don't really know right now since since the job it's mainly just been patrolling back and forth, back and forth, just trying to just trying to settle everything down. Uh, mm -hmm. There was one it's time a bit the overwhelming. other. It it can be. Uh, the, the, recently, uh, some some of us went. Uh, we went off with a uh, deputy marshal, Le uh, De deputy marshal flat, and we went up uh, camping up in the up in the snow. Did a little bit of hunting, and uh, oh, that sounds fun. Uh, lieutenant attempted to teach me fishing, 
yeah. I, I don't know how how good of a learner I am. Um, I've caught one fish since then. Um, that was nice, but uh, yeah, I'm just sort of going on patrol at the moment. Um, I'm expecting a. Dad. You met Miss Cynthia Wheeler? Yeah, yeah. She's she, lovely. Uh, she's a. Uh, she's trying to get a hold of me tonight. I think to a yeah. to a. Uh, hunt, uh, hunt a legendary beaver. Oh yeah, yeah. She said she's been hunting today. So uh, I'm she's gonna... looking forward to the dark time to be able to go and. So I'm looking forward to trying that, and then honestly, uh, another thing I've always wanted to do is, uh, you know, the the big river that runs down past uh, Valentine. Yeah. I've always wanted to canoe down that. <gasps> yeah. But I don't that, know how much be, a canoe that'd costs. That'd be pretty. It would. You got the, you, you know, the fun of canoeing on the water, you know, yeah. the rapids and stuff, and then you got the nice, you know, vistas on the left and the right, and then you come down into the into the bay with the bridge, with the, the railroad bridge. I, I think it'd be, yeah. I think it'd be quite the sight. That would be. What about yourself? What, 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 what do you like to do around country? Oh, I like, I like hunting as well. Like, uh, it's just nice to. You know, get out in the fresh air and have some peace and quiet sort of thing. You know, just away from the hustle and bustle of um, busy, busy towns. Yeah, I'm feeling that more and more. It's uh, right. it, it's nice to see a lot of people in the county, but I feel like they're just pretty, you know, boisterous and violent. Yeah. You know how much people want to just like you know, you know, it's it's nice to just be you know you know be living the life instead of rushing around and shooting guns and comparing gun sizes and stuff i, f I feel that like there'll be the odd time not that i can really remember them well, that well but the odd time where i am part of a shootout you know where we're dealing with a bank robbery or a general store robbery or god knows what and nine times out of ten i wake up at the doctor's office bandaged up and you know sort of wondering why i even took the job but, uh, oh, you know, yeah. one experience of that makes me want not want to deal with that again for a couple of days. So I, I don't know mm -hmm. how others just can just go and go and go. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I think the doctors are definitely feeling it, too, you know? Uh, just the, the amount of people they have to try and save and, and all that. It's, it's, there's so much. And so so time consuming and so much weight that gets put on their shoulders so you know i, I can i've seen it uh like yuri yuri had a rough time uh after the big hostage situation in uh, valentine at the bank oh uh he had to pick everyone up on his own and that was just i could see that was just so much work how many he people was, was it after that. i think it was like nine nine no, yeah. Nearly double it digits. Was, yeah, it was, it was, it was awful. And I know I saw my friends who were part of that. So that, you know, that really sucked to see. And uh, last night we, we all uh, got together and had some drinks and, uh, you know, explored the country, uh, countryside. Uh, so that was nice to get away a bit. But, I, and that's why I, I was, uh, I spoke to, Mr. Woodman, uh, about you know, going off duty and, and you know being able to relax and stuff, because I see you two like and Mr. Harkness as well, just all the time, um, doing your best and yeah. It's a lot of riding back and forth. <laughs> you <laughs> can get a little tired, and I feel bad for the horses. <laughs> they seem to be pretty content with that, with some apples and pats, but yeah. Did uh did Mr. Woodman get back to you about taking some time off and going hunting with you? No, I haven't seen him. Uh, haven't seen him on county today. Yeah, me either. I I didn't have much of a chance to talk to him some more. He's a uh, mm. we had an incident where his hand was stuck in a, a milk bucket, and uh, <laughs> oh, no. and then he had to deal with a whole bunch of other stuff. And then yeah, I haven't seen him since. So I imagine he's just I imagine he's just busy. How did how did the the milk bucket get stuck on his hand? 
God. It was, what, was, what, what was he doing with the milk? I don't know <laughs> why. I don't know if he thought that, you know, it would be easy to carry if he, you know, put his hand in the bucket, sort of grabbed, you know, held it from the inside, oh, or if he sure. was, you know, maybe grabbing a bit to have a drink or checking the temperature or God knows what. Um, I have no idea what went through that fellow's mind, but all I know is that we had to struggle to get that hand out. It's just for they just for pouring things in, pouring things out. You know, yeah. not really supposed to be putting hands in there. They don't really yeah. fit. Yeah, that, that's true. Um, <laughs> he cut it off, right? <laughs> I, I, last I checked, he had both hands left. Oh, that's good. That's good. But, but I imagine he's just got a lot going on. He's um, he's been real hard. He's been a real hard worker lately. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's... No, I, I've seen him. Uh, I've seen him. He's, you know, and you yourself taking them on on your own and stuff, and that that must be really hard. It can be tough, but it's been good that he's he's a uh, he's a good set of ears. When you're on patrol, he's got a lot yeah. of funny things to say. He shows a lot of initiative. Uh, mm -hmm. re responds to you know instructions from like Hotness and myself as captains. Um, and he has a lot of just a lot of good ideas. Um, yeah. And it just lightens the mood a bit, especially when we, you know, it's a lot of riding back and forth, a lot of trying to get people to calm down that, you know, uh, button heads with you. Um, yeah, you need, you need someone like that. You you uh you said uh, you were gotten hunting with Cynthia for a, a legendary animal, was it? Yeah. Is it, uh, you think she might have replied? I've tried sending her a telegram. I did. I told her that I'd be yeah. up. Uh, I'd probably be steering clear of Blackwater tonight. I'll probably just be patrolling between Strawberry Valentine and Emerald Ranch, to be honest with oh, you. Sure. So I, I told her. I told her that um, I'll be patrolling between there and uh, checking my telegrams as as I go. So see if I bump oh, yeah. into her and then go on break and uh, go uh, just go chill out, have a chat, and do some fishing or something. So that'll be oh, nice. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely need to take those breaks. Good for the noggin, you know? Yeah, because sometimes, the, you know, there's a lot of, sometimes there's a lot of pressure to be on duty a lot just to have the, the pay coming in. Just because, mm -hmm. you know, everything's expensive, even just, you know, basic everyday food and oh, water course, and yeah. stuff. And, you know, I'd love, to, I'd love to eventually, you know, buy some better weapons, better horse, you know, a house and such. But it's also very yeah. expensive, and it's just there's that pressure of, uh, you know, the less you're on duty, the less money you're getting paid, and that's going to affect you in the long run. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but I think sometimes it's better to just... You, you can't go back on duty and expect to do a good job when you, you, you're processing a lot of bad stuff that you need to get out of your system. Yeah, that's it. You need to have, uh, have some... Definitely... You know, go off duty and take some time to refresh and have a breather and stuff. Yeah. But imagine you got some things to be looking forward to. Uh, Alexi bumped into me yesterday, handed me some black vodka, saying that uh, he and uh, uh, honey? honey. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, some exciting news. So. Very unexpected, but uh, a welcome <laughs> surprise. Mhm. Mm oh. We're just sort of wondering when that would happen. But it's, you know, something positive for the county, I guess. And, you know, hopefully we have a, a wedding that they can prepare for and something to celebrate. Yeah, I imagine folk like yourself and Zoe and that would be excited. You know, get all dressed up, get your hair done and, yeah. you know, help organize things. And, you know, that make it a real nice event. That would be, be a real positive Thing for the community, mm. I think. Can you, can you hear yeah. gunshots? Oh, no, no. I, I swear, uh, I just heard some distant gunshots, but I might be. I don't know what. Do I don't know. Hopefully, it it's just hunters. Or, yeah, it could be hunters. Lots of hunters around here, and you know, people running into wolves and stuff. So I'm hoping it's fine. Oh, yeah, that's, those wolves. A little bit concerned as well. That wagon is taking an awful long time to turn. Oh. Which 
I need oh, to go see if see. there's something obstructing yeah. their path. My eyes aren't working. Uh... It seems like they may have come around that corner and not started turning soon enough. It don't yeah, look... you got people waiting on you. Dang. You got to move, partner, or what? You trying to put my back up? I, I don't know what that means. Wash my eyes out. Put your back up. Hellfire. So if you're not willing to make that commit to the turn, you're going to have to back up and try it again. And look, I'm happy to... I'm happy to let you give it a go. I'm not gonna tell you how to drive a coach, but shit, if you can't move this soon, I'm gonna have to do it for you. I don't know what this guy's really, deal is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, maybe, maybe there's a wheel broken or something. You can't see any damage. Looks, looks fine, but but then I'm not an expert on wagons or anything. Mm -hmm. The horses seem fine. Yeah, I, maybe just maybe this is the horses. Good morning. Don't make oh, put that away before you scare oh, folks. Shit. Dear God. Uh, there they go. He says, put it away before you scare folks, but it took scaring him for him to move yeah. and stop blocking literally one of the only intersections in town. Oh, yeah. I find that go happens figure. often. Like, just the road is just a little bit too small. That's ridiculous. Oh, well. Pro pro problem solved. It just cost me a bullet. And as far as I know, I didn't shoot anyone in the face this time, so that's a plus. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Nothing's falling out of the sky, so you didn't shoot anything up in the sky either. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. That bullet might come back now. <laughs> I'm gonna go check. I can check telegrams in this. Uh, as far as I know, here. yeah, this little building here doubles as both a, a post office and a bank, which is quite oh, efficient. Okay. So I believe you can do everything you need to there. You know, I think I just come straight into the bank sometimes and forget this side is the room is here. Oh, Valentine. All right, it would appear that I am uh, needed in Valentine. Oh, okay. I best uh, I best get back to Blackwater and uh, golf duty and and all that. But really, right, well, be safe and don't forget the apple pie in Valentine. Oh, I'm gonna be looking forward to that later. But I really appreciate yeah. you just you you you're coming through Strawberry just now, Louise. Appreciate the chat. No problem. Yeah, it was good chat. Good chat. Till next time, ma'am. Okay. Take care. I forgot I have to go off duty in Blackwater. Hey, M. Tay. How you going? I'm alright, but getting better by the minute.
Hi, Thor. Do you prefer Thor? Or Foxer? Oh, also, uh, uh, Jimmy Haim, Haim Train And Felix, thank you for the follows as well. So I haven't really been keeping up with that very well. Wait. Oh, how does this work? So you got the, the train tracks that come through, but then the station's here. Oh, I thought it would connect up. Oh. Sure there's a... Sure, there'll be an explanation. I don't even want to look down that street. Blackwater can look after itself tonight for all I care. It might be a lumber yard. I really, haven't really stopped to have a good look. Thor or Thor or Foxer, all up to you. Well, Thor's pretty good. Well, oh, Fox is cool. The core's great because it sounds like Corbs, like my name. Oh, so it's a good combo of favorite things, which is nice. That's good to hear. I just got Corbs because my first name's Corbin and people called me Corbs for short since I was, since I was a baby, I think. Um, so I've got... How many arrows do I have? Oh, I need to equip the... Equip the bow to see. Oh, you have plenty of arrows. So I've got, um, I've got bait, I've got some, maybe some more food. Got plenty of water, maybe just some more food. Yeah, maybe just, maybe just some bread, just so I've got like backup food. And I think I'm good. Secret mine in Valentine yet? No, I... I don't think I even know of that from the the single player. Is there a secret mine in Valentine? Where the heck would that be? Is that like through someone's basement? Find out in character. <laughs> I'll have to give it a I'll have to give it a YouTube at some point. Lots of bread, just to be safe. Should have got apples actually. That does a bit of hydration as well, doesn't it? Um there's plenty of bread, plenty of water. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I should be good for a while. Just need to stop by the bank and then I'll head out. Hopefully I can get there in one piece. But I'm not counting on it. And dodge the landmines. But my It's like Minesweeper, but Red Dead. Oh, 
<laughs> hey, Ant, how you going? I'm all right, Ants. Bit of a rough start to the night, but it's getting better. Extremely doubtful I'll do any more lore stuff tonight because it's, it's, it currently feels like an uphill battle. And I don't know what I should be doing differently. lose track of all these crossings here. It's also very confusing. Ah, oh, I had a big, I had a big rant about it earlier, Game Train. Um, I, I don't, I don't have the energy and I don't think it would be good if I, um, talked about on stream again. I, I, I feel guilty enough already for bringing the mood down enough as it is. Um, people that come check out the stream want to, you know, enjoy the usual Corbs, humor, George Hughes shenanigans, fun times, not me being a, a fucking doomer. And I hate being like that on stream. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I, I hope so, Looper. I, I hope. If there's, if there's actual things that, if there's actually, like, very wrong things I'm doing with my RP, I really hope someone will tell me. Um, because I've been on the server literally since the test. The beta. Hey, fellas. Oh, how you Howdy. doing? Sorry to end up seeing you as in Valentine. I ran into some good. people in Strawberry and then I've got some things come up. So I've gone off duty. I'm just going to Valentine. I'm just. I, I don't know when I'll be back on duty tonight, if at all. That's okay. These things happen. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a good night. Uh, hopefully, we I'll will. see you around later. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, oh, just good. watch out for Walter. There's still some people staring at his shop. <laughs> Speaking of, I, I heard through some locals in Blackwater that. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are just out for him, as we already know. 100%. But, but yeah. That is the word on the street. That's not good. The word is correct. <laughs> so, that is factual. <laughs> I've told you, so we multiple sources, and you've seen it, so yeah, be careful, yeah. fellas, and I'll, yeah, we'll, we'll. I'll hopefully see you later. I'll see you Definitely. later. Still have a new gun? Oh, it's fantastic. And with the, the awesome horse, you got the, oh, you got yeah. the full set, They Sledge. match, don't they? Black and white, black and white. <laughs> yeah, you got a theme going. It's uh, it's good. Yeah. It's what I Alrighty. like to see. Oh, I'll fellas. Love. I'll hopefully see, see you around. soon. Oh, look yeah, at that card. He's keen. Up on the bridge. <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks, Ants. It's, yeah, it's just, I, I really like having a horse in these games that looks like a pony from Zelda. That that for, that for me is always like the definitive horse, video game horse. Hey Zozo. You've missed a lot. It was a it was a really rough start to the stream. Um Yeah, I don't I don't really feel like talking about it more on stream. 
Um, if you'd like to talk more about it later, I'd happily do so. But right now, I'm just trying to get on with it. Hey, Fog Frog, the only problem with your IP is the fact that you're too powerful to be left alive. <laughs> Thanks, man. Tougher. I'm getting older. Oh, dude. Dude, it would be great to see you in country again. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Just got to be careful, Thor, because on the RP server, it's like, you've got to approach all the places as though, like, you've never been there before and that you don't have any prior knowledge. So I try to, I try to not learn as and learn as much as I can, and put as much out of my head as I can, because sometimes I have trouble acting like, oh wow, well, what's this? Like sometimes I feel like I'm a fucking phony. Let's try this stairs there. It seems, Thor, or Ants, that someone's been moited. But it's just a local. Just a background character. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm I'm perfectly fine. Do you need a hand getting to the bath? No, no, I'm alright. Just be careful, you don't want to get sick. It's it gets real bad out here. Yeah, oh, let me have another one. She's drinking too much. You gotta tell her. Oh my oh, god. Stop. <laughs> hey toaster just an extra the epic tales of george used to time boogaloo <laughs> look usually i don't call some people npcs but on this occasion i will <laughs> Big NPC energy. <laughs> Some days that's me. Oh, no, Louise has already given one. 
Ah, there you are, Miss Wheeler. We'll equip the cat dragged in. Oh, lucky I didn't run into any pumas or anything, but I damn well could have. Where were you that you would have run into a puma? Oh, anyway, you could be you could be walking up and down this street and then a, a puma or something will come out of nowhere. At this point, I'd take a puma over a person. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not hey, wrong. Oh, you ready to head out? You got everything you need? I do. I've uh, stocked up with supplies just in case and uh, ready to roll and get out, get away from all these. You got your fishing rod? I do. I even you got, got uh, you got enough bullet. Uh, let me check. I think so. Right. Also, I might have to ask you to bring out your horse, cause um, Henry's in the Henry's in the the doghouse, as they say. Henry kicked me in the head three times, and it's my own horse, and I'm real confused about that. Well, look, sometimes they like people; they have bad days, I guess. Yeah. Let me see if there we go. All right, all aboard. Where where are we heading? Let me check my map. Where? Uh, you see on the map up north on the east side, Brandywine Drop. Uh huh. I do. I I haven't been up there. I. I'm well, not... that's where we're headed. I'm not sure if I've actually been up there. If I have, it's been a been a while. You now you've got plenty of supplies for the long trip? I do. Alright. Bye gentlemen. Look at <laughs> <please. laughs> Jesus. Some Christ. good folk in Valentine today. I hope so. I hope they know how to look left and right when crossing the road. Well, I said they were good folk. I didn't say they were smart folk. <laughs> I can I can relate. That's fair. How are you feeling after your uh, your altercation? Well, head's still a bit woozy, but uh, you know, despite it all, it sounds like I was just trying to protect the bison. Um, yeah, I I ended up going back to the scene of the crime, as you would say, and uh, three bison were taken down, unfortunately. <sighs> That's sad to hear. I did skin them and and just. You know, I'd rather that go to use than for nothing. Well, I think that's what the Native Americans believe in, is that, you know, when they mm -hmm. hunt something, they they won't just, you know, eat the, the meat. They will use, you know, the claws, the fur, yeah. this and that, so that it, it's like a respect thing, which, you know, I respect that. Exactly. So, and I also thought if I skin them, that means the people who did you wrong can't go over there and skin them and take the profits. So that too. That. But also, yeah. I found out that I get more for a pristine fox pelt than a pristine bison pelt. So, go figure. I, I, I think. I guess. I guess if the if the salespeople put the price up too high for bison, mm -hmm. then more people will think, oh, you know, that's a good way to make money. But. But I'm not a, a expert in financial matters. Yeah, neither am I. That was my father's job, not mine. <laughs> it's, it's too many numbers. Look, I, I I'm happy to count up to ten. <laughs> you know, maybe twenty if I don't have boots on. But that's that's bad as it. That's bad it. I can't count past four if I've got mittens on. I need to be able to see my fingers. That's all right, and that, if you got mittens on, it's all about staying warm. God damn, that cold creep up on you. I at least bought a new jacket finally, so I can head north more often, because otherwise I'll freeze to death. Oh, can't have that. Look, I don't I don't know how far us lawmen from the west side are allowed to go. I don't know how far we can go north to rescue people caught in the snow. No. At least nobody is. Uh, I don't think anybody's really going to bother us unless they're headed up for hunting in the same region, so... There's no bison up here, right? Uh, there's a little group of bison, but oh, not God. many people know about them. Most people go up there to hunt the big bucks. Now look, I'm, I'm glad that I was thinking of the bison, but also in hindsight, you know, if there was a group of them, well, not the bison, the people, 
thing and in hindsight, something I always forget as a lawman is that if it seems like there's a group of people that are going to be a threat and you're by yourself, well, you're already outnumbered, so it's probably best to stay back, you know, use binoculars, camera and that. So in hindsight, I wish I had just stayed back and watched and maybe taken notes, but it's just as soon as I, I get, you know, as soon as you hear Bison getting shot at, it's just yeah. something takes over. I saw what they were doing and I felt my heart drop to my stomach. And uh, I, ultimately, I'm, I'm just happy that you're safe, all things considered. Oh, look, I'm willing to lay down my life if it means making a stand for protecting some some good. L let's try not to let it get that far. I'd rather <laughs> you be in one piece. Huh? I, I you know. promise I'll make sure you get back to civilization as soon as possible. I, I ain't worried about me. I'm fine. I've been learning a lot about being up here. I got chased by a bear and three groups of wolves today. Outrun every one of them. Jesus, it sounds like you're better at dealing with danger than I am. Maybe I should apply for the doctors and you should apply to be a lawman. Mm. Well, I wouldn't say that, though, because I did wake up on the train station in Rhodes. I think the doctors just dropped me there after they treated me, and I didn't remember much going on except that I was talking to some people about hunting. And oh. I woke up with a lot of pelts on me. And I also woke up. All of my clothes were soaked, so something must have happened where I was in water. Oh, God. But, uh, so I wouldn't say that I'm 100% on my survival skills yet. But, actually, you might be happy to hear that I didn't let the situation in the desert throw me. I did spend the night in Armadillo. You were brave enough to spend the night there? I had a friend. Uh, my friend who runs the bakery in Armadillo. Uh, Jeffrey, you met him. We spent some time yesterday. We went over hunting the legendary beaver again, so I oh, knew yes. how to do it. And then uh, he took me to Armadillo because as we were leaving Blackwater to go hunting, dirt opened fire on us. Duh, come on, dirt. What are you doing? So we thought we shouldn't go back to Blackwater or really uh, Valentine for the night. So we went all the way to Armadillo. That's, yeah, I don't I don't blame you at all. That's kind of, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm steering clear of Blackwater as much as I can tonight. Yeah, it was kind of nice. So I got to sleep under the stars next to a bread oven because he owns a bakery. I was outside. That Set up a little nice. little bed roll out there. That would have been very nice. Hey, you got that I, coat on? It's getting a bit chilly up here. I've got my coat on. Let me know if my lantern is causing you problems looking in the fog. Nah, that's all right. It would be good because then uh, any uh oh shit. Hold on. I better no, slow I think down. it's causing you uh, problems. Hold on. No, well I thought it'll help other people see us coming, but I, I'm I'm just having trouble seeing the road just on account of the fog. I better be careful. I just this this part don't look like a road. Oh, is this it, the road? This is the road. Is that? Yeah, this this has got to be the road. Hey, Dill. Hey, recklessness. It is Sometimes Cynthia. Sometimes the lantern causes more problems than not. The water particles in the air that make the fog that cling to the light and cause some blindness. Oh, is that how it works? Mm-hmm. Now tell me something. You got What's a that? you got a mind what? for science and well, medicine. I like to think I do. How the hell do mirrors work? Mirrors? Like oh, that's let's some, say that's some pure witchcraft there. I don't I don't know much about mirrors. I'm looking in the mirror at the barber shop, getting a beard trim, and let's say I put up my hat between me and the mirror. But then the barber, he can step to the side and he can still see me on both sides in the mirror and in the real world. But how does how does the mirror know what I look like when its eyes are covered by a hat? Well, uh, <laughs> it's something about the light bouncing. So if the light is touching it, your eyes can take in the information. No like matter a lantern? What the Kinda, because you need a lantern to see in the dark and you can't see in a mirror when it's dark, can you? No, like, no. It's, like it's so dark that I wonder if the mirror even exists anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I know that in the 1400s, they used to use mercury to make mirrors. So mercury is expensive. Like the planet? No, like the, it's it's like a chemical, but it's shiny and it's also very dangerous. Well, that's not fair. If it's shiny and nice, but it's dangerous, like, that'd be a tough lesson to learn. I think we're getting close to, wait, what'd you say this place is called? Uh, Brandywine Drop. Brandy wine drop. Guess we're heading towards that sound of water. Right. Uh, why don't we switch? You hop off and hop on the back. 
Okay. Is that who the f who the hell are you? What in the hell was the point? I don't know. Just go around. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let me check my map. Yeah, I, I, I came the last time I came up here because here being the East jurisdiction, um, I I can't say that my first idea of a holiday off shift is uh, going to Ansburg. No, I've never been to Ansburg, but I haven't heard exciting things. I would steer clear of there and Van Horn as, as long as you can. D don't even think about those places. I'll I'll pay attention. Even even some areas of Saint Denis, it's uh. You think Blackwater can be bad? Saint Saint Denis is like a couple of Blackwaters rolled into one. Well, when I first got into the county, I, w I started in Saint Denis, and then I uh, and this might be it down here. Um. Once I got into St. Denis, there was immediately a bank robbery happened and the four people on the ground dead, so. Any, no hostages, just four dead people? I believe there were some hostages and there was, yeah, an altercation. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Of course, this is definitely the spot. Come on, horse, behave. Gonna go across the river. Come on, horse. What's your horse's name? Well, it's gonna sound really silly, but its name's Georgie. Georgie. All right, Georgie. I didn't really think of that. It's just when I was a uh, when I was young, I had a I had a dog called Georgie, uh, which right. is odd because my name's George, so it gets confusing. You're gonna need your weapon out. Right. And uh, stand back. Maybe hop on a rock. Okay. I'm a little scared. Oh. How big is this beaver again? It ain't scary, baby. I just, I, I can't, I don't know if I've seen a beaver recently. I don't even know what an average sized beaver looks like. Shit, I don't have the right bait. I need to quickly get some softwood. One more. Okay. Okay, watch. There's a cave there. Hey, Micah. Georgie Pie. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting beavers. Where'd she go? Uh oh. Oh no. I don't recall seeing a normal beaver yet. Like, do they have a dam somewhere? <laughs> Very quiet, Uwu. You found some? I'm gonna hand you my axe. I can't cut through trees for some reason. Oh. Uh, we just need one piece of softwood. So any of the three should do. Okay. Uh. Huh. Oh, I think that one's too, too tiny. What about, what about this one? Well, this one? No? Aha! Uh -huh. Just one piece? Just one piece. I think... You got it? I think I got some. Give right. me a sec. We're running out of time, so... Oh, shit. We got a, a time window when these beavers are active. Oh, but there you go. Yep. All right. Oh, flee your horse. Okay. Oh, 
Oh oh. All right. Now it could appear anywhere in the water. Right. So it just comes swimming and it's a down. Fat fuck. It's <laughs> You heard me. Oh my god. Sometimes you see muskrats in the water though that kind of look like it. I think I see some fish. Just that beaver can't resist that wood. Right. It's thing in It's his favorite kind. That wants to give it a moment. That'll be perfect to finish my. Oh, that fish just jumped out of the water. Oh, do you? See a coyote down there. Here, beaver, beaver, beaver. It can take a lot of time before it shows up. Well, I suppose... I suppose they're not the quickest swimmers, would they? Are they? No. Whatever happens anyway, we can always fish until the next day and try again. Yeah. And hopefully, hopefully I can actually catch something this time. I'm not... I'm not very good at fishing. What? You offered to take me fishing? You're not even good at fishing? Well, the bar is incredibly low. So I'm sure you'll do spectacularly. I appreciate that your choice of activity was designed to make me feel good about myself. Just one of them happy little ass. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, God. Did I come down off the rock? I'm feeling stressed. I need to sit down for a second. Come on! Should I come down over there? Where's this beaver? Oh, I see it. I see its head poking out of the water. Will it bite my legs? No, it won't attack yet. Just shoot it. Just shoot it? Okay. Just shoot it. I think he got it in the head. Good shot. Oh my god. Damn. Is it? No, it's still up. It's still coming. I'm still stressed. I think I hit it in the head. I'm going to move up to get a better angle. Watch out for the bears on the other side. Oh, great. Did we get it? No, he's still swimming. I've lost sight of it. Oh, he got away. He's gone. He's moving quick. Done. You got him? Watch my back. Okay. That bear right. seems like it's getting ready for a nap. This way. Oh, okay. We got the beaver. Ladies and gentlemen. Damn, I dropped it. Where is he? Fucking fat foot. He's gonna sink to the bottom. No, come back here. Hang on, I got a lasso. I I, I can't say it. Dang it! Now I'm stressing again. Oh my god, did we lose it? I, He's in there. Can you see it? He's like in front of this rock. Right here, I see him under my feet. Can't get him. I'm having a hard time seeing it. 
Where'd he go? No, not Beaver. Could it have gone down the river a bit? Might have. Shit, I, don't, I can't see nothing. Damn it, I think we lost it. Maybe it goes down to Shallows. Shit. Keep out over here. I think we lost him. Aw. Oh, shit. It's all right. I mean, if you want to wait, we can go again tomorrow. In I'm happy to wait. Night. That's plenty of fishing time. Ugh. Get out of this water. Now I just got to look for where I left my trap. When the light comes out a bit better, mm -hmm. I'll take another look in the river on, the ho on horseback. Might I get a good look. Maybe if I get my lamp now. Well, that bear's coming down. Three star. Oh, dear. Can't see shit. That's a fish. Oh. in there. losing track of where I am. Yeah, 
I can tell it's there, but I just... I know. Can't get I'm to it. I'm fairly certain it's a lost cause, though. I don't want you catching a cold on my behalf. Okay, now, well, now we know what to expect. Well, now I know what to expect. That they can swim upstream real fast. Yeah, okay, that's all right. All right, well, all right, let me let me go chop down some more wood so we're ready. Sure. Let me grab the hook. Then Yo, I'll take you to a nice place for the fish. Sounds good. Boop. Dang it. Careful. Hold on. Easy does it. My boots are all wet and slippery. All right, we learned a lesson. Damn crafty beavers. Ah, oh, quickly. Cheat it faster, don't swim while holding it. And, uh, I think that, yeah, that's the whole lesson. Yeah, that's all right. These things happen. Did you have fun, though? It was, it was different. I excited. I, I was a little scared it was going to come up and gnaw on my legs. <laughs> Which tree did I... I think you'd only gnaw on Woodman. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> That, I, considering how he got his hand stuck in a milk bucket, I can see that happening. Mm-hmm. What the... Press E at the spot. I don't want hardwood, I want soft <laughs> Yeah, I'll get one more for safety. Rubber. Oh. I got one more bit, but I just want to get one more just, just to be safe. And then I got sap, I've got rubber, and everything's falling out of these trees except some more damn softwood. Uh. Get out of here, damn coyotes. You got stick. I can't get any more. But look, I got one. Thank uh, there you. we go. Okay. So you Just said... checking my map for our next spot. Okay. You said you ain't seen any waterfalls, so I'm thinking I'll take it away. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Look, I'm sure when I was younger, I've fallen off one, but I don't recall ever going and spending some time at one. But you know, it's, uh, if there's any waterfalls over on the west side. Well, I mean, there's the one behind us. I don't know if you know that one. Yeah, it's, it's it's not as nice though. You reckon that's where the big beavers live? Oh, d oh yeah, I know where a beaver dam is too, actually. I'd love to see one in person. It's not very big, but it is a it is there. Oh my goodness! Oh! Calm down, Georgie. You reckon it's a that you reckon the beavers would consider it a work in progress? Oh, definitely. But it is already forming a pond mine. Oh, good on them. <laughs> All right, we just gotta keep following this river for a bit. Maybe that, maybe that big beaver floated all the way down. Maybe. 
it's funny that the uh, the pond that they've already made from the dam is actually so substantial that it is actually marked on the map. Oh, wow. Well, that, hey, they've literally put themselves on the map. They have. And if you need to go back at any time, if you feel like getting back to work, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm happy to take your places. I am not in a rush to get back to work. Right. I just didn't want to be the reason that criminals are roaming free or anything like that. They, look, we try, but they, they're gonna, criminals are going to do what criminals are going to do regardless of whether we're walking from point A to B and back and forth or not. So it is fine. I, I ran into Hawkness and Sledge on the way to Valentine, and uh, I told them that, you know, there's a good chance I may not be on duty for the rest of the day. And they, right. they said, that's fine. Good view from up here. I See, I think on patrol, I'd rarely take the moment to look at stuff like that. Sometimes you got to see the sort of landscape that you're fighting for. That's true. Give, give you some perspective. It's not all bison. It's not all shit people. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm having a good reminder of that. St. Bellstrad, thank you for the raid. Thank you, partner. Hope you've had a good, hope you've had a good time today in country. Thanks for, thanks for coming on over. So you said that you've, uh, you've applied to be a doctor, right? I have. What, what's the, uh, what's the latest on that? I have had no word. Have you ever, have you ever met Dolores in person? I've, I've met Dolores. I've been around with Dolores. Oh, oh my goodness. I've been around with Dolores. has been working. Oh, it's a snake. That was a snake. It's all right. It's all right. You can relax. I got antidote, so. You, well, I'm glad you do. I got, I'm. It's expensive stuff. Yeah, I haven't bought any yet. I'm, I'm very confident that I'm not going to get bitten by one, but there's going to be some famous last words. Mm-hmm. Don't jinx it. I, I jinx myself a lot. I know. I'm trying now to think about what I might do if I don't become a doctor. And I think whatever I do, it's just going to be something decent. Well, that's as a look on one side as a lawman, that is good to hear. But then as a just normal human being, that is also nice to hear. But what what what, what are your other main interests? What's your dreams? What's your passions? Um, oh, so we're here, by the way. Oh, is this where the beavers live? Look at the big pile of sticks. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're okay. Whoa. Jesus. Shit, you all right? No, I'm all right. You were looking at hey, the... I'm... Oh, look. I, I was distracted by the beauty of the beavers. Look at this, this... beaver. How have I never seen this before? Look at this tree they've been biting at. Shit. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We're not going to disturb them if we walk on it, are we? Well, I don't know if we can. Hold on. Oh, no, it's sturdy. Take it careful. Oh. Oh, my God. This would have taken them ages. It would have. And just think. Look how, look how high the river is on this side. Compared to the other, if this river wasn't here, uh, this sorry, if this dam wasn't here, just think how much bigger this river would be all the way down. You can see where the mud is showing; it's a recession of the water. And look behind us; there's two more piles of sticks and big dam. Was oh, that? Is this so? This is like the dam, and that's like their little town. Pretty much. My God. They make a town that's... up of multiple lodges, like we do. Do you reckon they're gonna finish off this bit here, or they want to let a little bit through? I think some flow is good because the flow means fish. Yeah, but then no. you said they don't like the sound of running water. I guess maybe a little running water is okay. Maybe a little is fine. They're like that. that that's that's just oh. enough. I feel. Oh, oh you're right. I'm right. Oh, dang it! It's oh, not no. completely solid. <laughs> but I'll show you the pond. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ah. I, did, I can't believe it. I didn't think of that. That's good. So this is the pond that they're making. Oh my God, dude. And if you look at your map, bring out your little paper map, you can see that this little pond is on the map. Right. So people, so cartographers have just, have, you know, they've noticed this. Well, well, got to put it on the map. Yep. My oh God, look at that. And you got one here. Oh, look. Hope there's no eels. Sorry, beavers. I'm going to be gentle. Gentle. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and then over here. Do you see they got all this grass that's growing out of the water? Yeah. It's because the pond is now still enough to support plant life. So ponds tend to grow plants on the edges. Now they've made a new edge, so there's more grass growth. Ah. And that, is that they eat that? No, I'm not sure if they do. I actually don't know too much about their diet, but I think they do eat a lot of fish. I guess the fish might, you know, feel that they're safe in these reeds, grass, whatever you want to call well, it. Well, you'd also get a lot of frogs growing in something like this, lots of tadpoles. Hmm. Is that they like stagnant oh. water? There's a little bit less movement here, so maybe something like that. There's definitely no running water here, so this is where they can sleep and get some peace yeah. and quiet. Right, right. Oh, my God. Then look, they probably heard us coming a mile away. They're all hidden away. They're all hiding in their lodge that we're standing on, probably. That's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I saw one, but no, it's just just the shadow on a rock. All right. Well, yeah. Well, we're burning daylight. We, yeah. You you said you got that fishing spot. Uh, give me one moment. I'll just check my map. No problem. Beaver Town. All right, I gotta head to the Elysium. Oh, that sounds nice. Blub, 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 blub. blub. All right. didn't inhale any pond water did you <laughs> no just it's just it's a little nippy just the cold air on the, the cold clothes <laughs> yeah i might have to come up here more often it's it's apart from the the odd you know person riding by on then this there's not many people you've around. been here nice. i've been here what's this what are they doing here it's the butcher's camp cannibals Right. So, uh, ru rumored cannibals. Um, there was a party here the other day for, uh, for uh, a birthday bash, and there was a lot going on. Who in their right mind wanted to host a birthday party? I can't remember his name. Jesus. What the hell? I almost wonder if the people made that bridge there. I don't think they're that architecturally sound. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Is this the right one? Not quite, I think, but I think we can get behind this one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I didn't want you to go that whoop. far. Horse, 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 calm down. The horse is pretty keen. Oh. Goodness. It's safe down here, right? I uh, I hope it's safe. I haven't been in this one. You yeah. Alright, well look, I'd I'd say good thing I'm here, but considering you ran away from bears and wolves, I think you might be protecting me. <laughs> I doubt that you're the law, man. Sure, y yeah. There we go. You see the blue light shining on some of the rock? Yeah. Sapphire, maybe? Oh, oh. I'm not sure. Something shiny and precious. Do people actually come down here in mine, do they? It doesn't look like it. Oh my god. Look how beautiful this place is. Jeez. 
Would not have, have guessed anything like thing. this was here. No, me neither. I hear rats and maybe some bats as well. There's some rats running around. Careful after all this swine flu and horse flu. Last thing we need is people getting the the, the black death. Uh, well, we'll certainly need a some sort of bath after and maybe a a fire as well. Ooh, cave paintings. You seen cave paintings before? There's bison some cave paintings. I think Lou and I Lieutenant and I found some paintings. Up near uh you went, we went camping. A couple of us lawmen went camping the other week. Up near, uh, mm -hmm. up by Strawberry. We in some of the caves we found some paintings. But they were not as nice as this one. Is this a bison herd? This is a bison herd. Oh, see? Like I said, the bison are sacred to the people of this land. Exactly. Come behind us with maybe horses and bison and deer? Yeah, yeah, it looks like, yeah, horses and deer, like, goats or something. Just general. Cows? Yeah. So pixelated. I hope this cheers you up. You definitely know you're not the only one who likes bison around here. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I like bison, but I've never felt compelled to, to, to paint them on a cave. But I'm starting to think maybe I should. Well, do you like art? You draw a bit? or? Oh, not since I was a kid. Oh dear, you reckon we can reach up there? I'm not sure, actually. I think that this might be as hard as I can get. Careful. Oh, oh. oh careful. Hey. Oh my God. Shit, you be careful. I'm all right. Catch me if I slide down, all right? Okay. All right, safe. How the hell did you get up there? Which way do I grab on? You need to run at this wall over here on that side. Whoa, hang on. You... Ah. Oh, careful. You can do it. I believe in you, George. Like this? Yeah, something like that. And jump. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Jump. Think about your, your space muscle and run. You're getting a little hot. Look at you go. Come on. Oh. I see you. Hold Come on. on. You're almost there. I just need to take a knee for a minute. <laughs> All right. Or else I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stack it. This is like trying to get past a, a mountain in Skyrim. You made it look really easy. <laughs> Nimble like a mountain goat. Yeah, I, I... If you can't make it, I'll come back down to you. No, well, if you need... Do you have a camera? Nope. I'm gonna say, when you're up there, get a good photo of the view. Uh, the view's not that crazy. We can get it from the other side. You sure? You, I don't want you to feel like you're missing out on much, not being able to get up here with those knees of yours. All right, well, hold, hold on. Find a good spot to, to stand. I'll get a photo from down here. So if anyone questions that you made it up there, I, we got the proof. Ugh. Ugh. Get a wide shot first. <clears throat> and
<laughs> and that one. I got, I got, I got a, I got a what? A wider photo and then one closer up for proof. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, whoa. whoa, careful! Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. Hey, what you meant to catch me? I, I hadn't finished. You weren't even ready for me. Scampering up the thing, you gotta give me a sec. <laughs> oh, careful! Damn. Jeez. I'm not. I'm probably not the best person to give advice and safety on coming up and down. Ain't you a lawman? Safety is kind of what you do. I, I'm not an ab sailor. I meant to be all about safety, protecting the civilians. I'm a civilian, by we, the way. We haven't been taught how to deal with um cave rescues. Cave rescues. I'm not a. I've never done any spelunking. Cave diving with Hughes is probably the most dangerous thing you can do, considering his track record. He's walking very slow now. Don't fall down in that crevice. Oh god. Thank you for the heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is nice. I hadn't been in this waterfall before. I, I, I would have thought it would just be a, a, a rock wall behind it. I had no idea there'd be a cave. Well, things can surprise you. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Cynthia? Hello? Oh. I just found on the way out. It seems like some little bats, like trying to fly in or out. They must have hit the wall and died. Oh no. Oh, bats? About three of them. I hope they don't have rabies. I'll put them straight in my pocket. Well. Now everything in your pocket has rabies. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I'm kidding, it's probably fun. Yeah. There's a frog. Hi, frog. So what time does that... Around about, does that beaver need? Like, Just night time, as soon as the night falls. What time is it now? Oh, where's the sun? Uh, uh... Maybe... 3 p.m., I guess? Alright, we got time. It's a, you want to call your horse wherever you went? Oh. Henry still can't be trusted. What's she doing over there? Oh, damn. She's been exploring out here. Running all the way around the side. Come on. Oh, yep. That's it. She's taking the long way around. Damn horse. Oh my god. Come on. There she is. What are you doing? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Ducks as well? Mm-hmm. Good duck hunts in place. Yeah. Not a bad spot at all. 
So you're gonna tell me about other things? Apart from like being a doctor, what you what you being like? What, oh. what what gets you up in the morning? Spot. Spot. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What? The entire moving here without my parents knowing is it's driven by Spot. I think so. Well, is there anything that you've always wanted to do but they wouldn't let you do? Uh, anything? Anything? Even sleeping under the stars? Learning how to hunt? Riding a horse? On anything but, you know, with a with a riding instructor? Well, you got the riding down, Pat. You've you've you you're doing much better at hunting than me. Have you actually gone camping outside yet? Well, uh, I did in Armadillo. Well, technically, next to the bakery. Oh, look, if it's outside, you count that, it's under the I'm, stars. I'm trying my best to adjust to life out here. I'm really, I'm trying. And I think the best way of putting it is that I have chosen to love it, even if I don't organically love it yet. Hmm. There's, there's some things, there's some creature comforts that I miss. And uh, things I'm getting used to. I imagine so. It would be a... Quite I've gone a... from having babes who help me get dressed in the morning and a chef who prepares all my meals and all the money and dresses I could want to to this. And it's a... Uh, I'm trying my best. I, I'm trying to approach it with... If if I'm confident and I, I act the part, then everything else will come. And you're finding this is more freeing than... Then all, with all that money and all that... I, I, all things considered, I have more control over myself over here. Mm, yeah. yeah. But there, there is a point of, like, they're probably going to try and find me. But that... They they couldn't really do anything, right? Like, you're you're an adult. They don't... They wouldn't have the right to do that, would they? My father's a very powerful man, and so is my... Well... Technically, I'm betrothed. I have... Oh, dear. And... There's also a very powerful person involved in there as well. Oh, that's that can't that's yeah. That, I told you there was parts of the story I hadn't told you yet. And that, no kidding. That, that etiquette school I was meant to go to, that six months of etiquette school, it was to prepare me for married life. Oh, oh so god! Immediately after completing that six months of etiquette school, I was supposed to get on another train and go live a different life. Gee, that, yeah. Oh, it's is right. that damn snake again? It's a snake. It's a snake. And that, yeah. Look, I don't blame you. If that, that's a lot of pressure. You know when people used to, you know, you read in fairy tale books about like marriages being set up to help people stay in power and have power and you know, mm. people not being able to choose. Uh, this is like the same thing, but in our modern times, it's, it's you know, it's not the 1600s, it's the 1900s, but they still do in that way. I can't believe that's still a thing. How, how, as a lawman, how is that legal? It, because we're expected to just agree. It's not technically illegal because we're pressured to agree. Here's, here's the thing is, while this is all being arranged for me, my father took meetings with many people, many people who were you know, sons of politicians or politicians themselves or even people who were from abroad or people who ran large companies, mining magnets, you know, oil companies, all those pe sort of people, anyone with any ounce of power. And as far as I understood it, my father saw it as like a bidding war, like I was a horse for sale. Ah! So you can see why I left. It's... Look, I, I got it to begin with that, you know, you know, wanting to get away from that sort of environment now, but now I'm really, really seeing it. Well, I'm just saying there's a chance that at some point someone's going to try and come and get me if they figure out where I am. Well, shit, we're not going to let that happen. Yeah, well, they might be more powerful than you think. Oh, look, I've, I've met with the governor. He's a he's an ex lawman. He he probably understand. He could probably he could help. I think I'm just happy of being incognito. I might give myself a new name at some point. Having an alias wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Definitely not Miss Transparent though. That was not a good one. <laughs> like I like I've thought about it all. Mm -hmm. 
It only took me a second to think of. I wasn't thinking of anything fancy. But I, you know what I said about like, you get to choose. I get to choose to love this place. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I didn't choose to love whoever they set me up with. They're, they're a bit rotten, are they? Yeah, could say that. Even there, if he wasn't it? rotten, I think I disagree. Did you see a I light over that, under that rock over there? Yeah, I did. There, there it is again. Is there someone is over that? in there? Should we look? I mean, I kind of want to. I just don't want him to. Hello? Oh. Hello, anyone in there? Hello? Lord of Parliament, make yourself known. Uh, hello? See anyone around here? There's a rat. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Hello? I think it might have been our own lights reflecting in there somehow. Yeah, what's this in the corner? Some broken bottles, empty cans, looking real rusty. Yeah, it seems like someone might have been in here, but yeah, a bunch of rats just going around, so I don't think anyone's been in here in a while. I think I'd say you're right, just the light doing Trick its thing. Trick of the light, yeah. And it's not, it looks like the moon's come out at night time, good timing. Yep. My legs hurt. Alright, you ready for this? I'm ready. Tell Georgie to go home for a minute. Oh shit, here we go again. Still walking slow. All right, ready. All right. You're gonna come from the same spot upstream. Uh, usually it does, yeah. Okay. Around probably middle of this area between these two rocks. Take a few minutes. Okay. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I feel like you get to like love for loving a location, loving a person, loving anything. It's much of a choice as it is a feeling, and I had neither of them with that guy. That's yeah, understandable. And I, so I'm choosing to love this place instead, even if it's not really there yet, because I hate the feeling of the sand in my boots, and I hate that I don't ever get to wash my hair properly unless I pay for it, <laughs> and I hate that if I put on a nice jacket, my horse kicks me in the head and shoves me in the mud. <laughs> So, and I just, I miss being comfortable. Well, if there's one thing I've learned out of these parts is that it's, you get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Speaking of, we got a storm coming. Oh, no, hold off on the rain. I had enough trouble seeing that beaver as it was. It's all right, we'll manage. I, I have faith in you and me. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't always running around as lawman and that pretty pretty rough in my younger years and it, not like it's a contest or anything but you know how uncomfortable you are now can be worse just, just be careful of the company you keep that's the thing i'm struggling with at the moment so a lot of people have ulterior motives to be my friend yeah i i ran with some pretty bad folk when i was younger in my early 20s and yeah just big, big reason why I became a lawman just wanted to try and stop that for other people even lawman ain't without faults though 
a lot of the lawmen have alternative, you know, alternative motives as well. Well, that, yeah, that's the thing. We, we're trying to do the best we can here on the West, and I, I have I have so much faith in Woodman and Harkness and Bowman and that, but we hear things about, like, the East Side, which makes us a little, little worried. Mm -hmm. Hey, Battle you? you think I can trust you? I, well, I, I could say you can, but... <laughs> But then that's up to you as well. I, like, I, I know I can be trusted, but, but I understand other people have got their opinions. Yeah. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to do good at my job and just get by and make sure everyone's safe. Really, that, that is that's literally all I do. I can see that. But I think right now I believe you anyway. You haven't given me any reason to think otherwise. I, I, I'd really rather not go to sleep knowing I've ripped anyone off or anything. And this next legendary beef is taking his time. We'll be patient. Here, yeah, beaver, beaver, beaver. Got a nice big pine tree for you. For next time. I've been meaning to get one of them. Oh, what's that? Was that a feather? I see Some... a frog. A, a toad. frog? I got like three of them in my pockets right now. A toad? Ugh, yuck. And my pockets are filled with all sorts of menagerie animals you wouldn't believe. What have you got in there? I've got three bats. I got three crows, three frogs, a squirrel. Holy sh... I gotta, I gotta sell them soon. Damn, I man. I, to to stink. I didn't know you needed that much padding to keep you warm. If you said I, I would have brought a blanket well. for you. You would have bought a blanket for me? I mean, I just bought this coat. I think this coat's all right. That's a good thing. That's why I got this really long coat, because it doubles as a blanket at night. And then it's... Oh! Oh, no. There's something floating around. Maybe I need to reset my trap. Yeah, worth a shot, I guess. Where the fuck is my trap? I don't know. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> He's stuck. He's just stuck walking slow. Yeah, I I tried it, but I don't know if I I never know if I do them right. I got a problem. See, I did this. I put it the to the trap. Th ate the bait. I put it to that. What? I don't have any bait. You need more wood? Up... Yeah, I need more softwood. Shit. Let me see. let me check. Oh. Stop resetting. Let me chop the tree. First go, let's go. I got some! Oh. I got five apparently. I, I thought like, I only had on one. Come on, Beaver. All right, it's active. Okay. Let's stand back. Yeah, Might maybe feeling so. Shy. You know what I miss the most about my old. What? I had a bed with a with a goose feather mattress. Ah, oh, don't tell me that sounds amazing. It was the best. I also miss having a good old English breakfast cup of tea every morning. Oh. I miss having someone brush my hair for me. Oh, now that's that's just someone that's, to that's brush your own hair. That's a life I led. I could go big breakfast right about now. I'll have to dig up some of my old photos. I did bring some with me. Oh, you did? 
You'll have to see me in a big poofy ass uh, debutante dress. <laughs> I suppose you you could wear that and you could fit right in down in Saint Denis sometimes. Probably. I think that's why I partly don't like Saint Denis. It sort of reminds me of a few things. Some mm. of those big mansion homes. I don't know. Those big houses might have people in there that'll comb your hair. <laughs> Probably. I don't think I have enough money to afford to pay somebody. What is it? Ten cents a, a brush? I ain't seeing it. Give it time. The puma comes out like straight away. We found the badger every time. I mean, not the badger. The bloody beaver every time. It takes a while. I wonder if the beaver gets lost on the way down. Probably. Is that bear again? Always there. You see you ready? I see him. He's coming. We'll wait till he gets a bit closer. He's swimming this way. You see his tail sticking out of the water? Oh, yeah! He's coming. I think we wait till he gets a bit closer and then we'll open fire. Actually, well, let's go meet him. Beaver! Oh, no! Can we, like, s scare him over to the, the side? Uh, either side, wherever he washes up, we'll be able to get him. Oh. We just won't, cl won't carry him in the water this He's down. Careful. You got him? Nope, I don't have the fuck up. Where'd he go? I don't know. Did he float down or is he up there still? You, you go down, I'll, I'll go up. Okay. Oh no. No corpse marker. Yeah, good, good point, Battle Tanger. Yeah, this is the second one we've tried to get, but they like get stuck on the bottom of the river. Anything? Uh, uh, I think he's gone to God. Ah, uh, again? Uh, I got again. I don't know why we're so unlucky. This ain't ever happened to me before. How strange. If you want a fish, I got a fish. I think we might have to just settle on fishing. I'm sorry. I know this is probably disappointing for you. 
No, no, well, I got to see the beaver's home in the cave. And you got to see the legendary beaver. Yeah, it's just unlucky that he's just getting caught in the, in the, in the. Next time I'm going to figure out the puma and you and me are going to hunt a puma. Yeah, then there's no water involved, I hope. Mm hmm And the next one I'm learning is how to get the legendary ram. Oh my god. Careful, that one will charge you. Yeah, the puma and the ram are going to be dangerous, so you better have my back. Okay, I will. Oh, the squirrel. Hi, little guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. You get him? I did. Right through the eyes. Holy shit. And now I'm stressed out. I deserve a oh, shoot yeah, with squirrel, take honestly. Yeah. All that, all that legendary beaver shooting would tire anyone out. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope at least you still had fun. It has been fun. You got plenty of water? Yeah. I do. I have lots of tea as well. You want a scone? Have you had a scone? I have not. I, but before today, I, I, I never had one of those uh, bakery apple pies either. Well, thank you. That's all the way from Madilla. From all the way out there. Mm -hmm. There's no dust in it, right? Uh, I put it right in my coat pocket in the bakery, so. All right, so it's well, being not, protected not by the Well, not one of the coat ovens. pockets has frogs or crows in it either. It's a different coat pocket. Okay, that that sounds good to me. I label them. Don't you worry. <laughs> Goodness Christ! <laughs> one time I put my hand in my pocket. I thought I was grabbing out a piece of bread, but I grabbed out a toad instead. And ah! Ah! Oh. Like I said, I got a lot to learn, so I learned to label. There's a, ba a bunny rabbit. Oh my god! Should I gotta stop calling out these animals. You got him too? Uh, well, rabbit meat is real good for selling to saloons. Oh my god! What? Oh! I'm sorry, you ain't ever peeled a rabbit like a banana before? No! Damn. Well, I'm I'm sorry you had to see that, but you know it's the way of life out here when you're trying to make a little bit of money. I gotta make sure that I don't subconsciously try and peel a criminal like a banana in the future. <laughs> no, I need a minute to laugh about that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm all right. Do you know any good fishing spots around this area? Uh, anywhere around here is good for pike. All right. Well, it is a nice river, so maybe there's a good... I, I was know. trying to remember my other waterfall place, but I'm struggling to find it. It's, it is definitely on the Kawasa River, Kawasa River. Um, and it's a big waterfall you can climb around behind. It's just picturesque. It's probably the biggest waterfall in the county. That's all right. Take your time. It's always next time. Let me have a look. I believe there's about eight different waterfalls in the in the county, so there's definitely more to explore and more caves as well. So if I find anything, I won't go inside. I'll just mark it so we can go and see it another time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd love to see them all. Oh, this is a good, be a good spot. Hmm. The Beaver Dam was further down, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, set down south. Do you ever see any fish in the pond? Not in the pond, not in the small pond, but the big pond, definitely. Maybe there? Maybe? Because Lieutenant, uh, he always said, you know, just, you want to find somewhere where the water's more still. Uh, is that a fox? Where? Oh. Or a coyote. Oh! Holy shit! Oh! Sorry, that's like a dollar a pill. Not nah, that. Well, look, you gotta make a living. I is hunting yep. licenses still a thing? 
I just know bison and At least you alligators get a paycheck doing what you do. are illegal. That's all I know. But you want to call Georgie? Took you two shots for that one. Uh, yeah. So it's, I sort of ruined a bit of the pelt, but it'll still be worth a dollar. If it's pristine for a fox, it's about three. Yeah, it's a dollar you didn't have before. Exactly. Hey. And I get the meat, and fox meat is uh, considered game, and game still goes to the saloon, so... Wait, the saloon sell fox meat? Well, what? after they cook it, you won't know it's fox meat. Like a fox sandwich or something? Yeah. Okay. Let's find that... The beaver dam. If you look at your map, it's south of the Elysian Pool, and you'll see that strange-shaped little pond that we saw. Oh, yeah, by the uh, supposed uh, cannibals. Well, here's that view again, but un unlucky timing with the fog. Mm-hmm. Damn fog. I hear a bear down there. How, how confident are you feeling? Uh, well, no, we can go on the path. I mean, down to our right, there's, there's bears down there. Oh, I thought you were you blind. You were want to shoot a bear next to you. No, go oh, God, no. You've gone from a uh, squirrel, and then you made the very brave leap from, from squirrel to bunny rabbit, which was very admirable. And then, uh -huh. and then you were like, you know, I'm not stopping there. Next is a fox. The next thing, you know, that'd be a bear, right? Mr. Hughes, do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> not just that you... G genuine question. I think you think I'm crazy. Look, I won't think you're crazy until I see you sprinting out a bear holding nothing but a knife. I'll put it on my bucket list. It's just, I... He, it's interesting to see someone come from your background and we because you've just you come with a clean slate that you just approach the hunting and everything just just in a very different way to someone that's been out here you know like i said i'm, I'm faking it till i make it i'm trying i'm just trying to pretend like i know what i'm doing so that eventually it looks like i do well if you you definitely convincing me I, i'm just teasing now it just I'm it's, telling you, though, I, when I'm out hunting, I'm terrified out of my mind. You come cry like a stone cold killer. <laughs> Nothing like a stone cold killer. Oh, look, as long as they, you know, treat their hostages okay at the banks, that'd be nice. I mean, you and I were probably like 10 meters apart the other day at uh, Valentine when they had me as a hostage on the sheriff's steps. I was, they, they shot dirt, cold blood in front of me. I was really convinced I was going to be next. They shot dirt? Yeah, right, right in between the eyes. But uh, he was actually quite fine. The bullet wasn't uh, manufactured well. Oh, phew. So we were able to get him, get him some help and he was all right. But he was still a bit strange afterwards and was shooting at me later. So I think he might be a bit damaged. What do you reckon? Yeah, just in there. <laughs> you Sorry, got it. Oh, there's a beaver <laughs> running up to the train. Oh, no. You saw it? I saw it. Oh. You're right? Uh, can I get my duck? Come here, duck. Oh, it's gonna go back. Oh, dog. it's gone. Yeah. I got him. Oh, you did? Get him on my shoulder. 
Sorry, duck meat is uh is good. Delicacy for where you're from. Mm-hmm. Understandable. I, 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 I get that. All right, fishing. I promise I'll stop getting distracted by the critters that I need. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You got my full attention now, Mr. Hughes. All right. Yeah, what do you reckon? Down here before? Yep. Hopefully it's... Oh, maybe the other side, which is slightly calmer. I've, I've had duck a few times. It's nice, but I always feel bad. It's different. Oh, geez, it's hard to find a good spot. Maybe, maybe on that rock. Feel kind of bad for disturbing the beavers again. Yep. I should seen that one run away. Oh. Yes, it looks like there's a fish just there. Lou, Lou said, you know, look for the, look for the, where they're splashing around. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh, I gotta put bait on. Did, did you bring bait? I got... Well, after this one, I got 14 worms left. Alright. If we need more, you can shoot them. Alright, I can do that. That's how I've caught fish in the past. But no, I mean, shoot the worms. Oh. <laughs> sorry, dumb joke. I'm sorry. Oh, the fish are just coming right over. Actually, I need to reload. Oh, they got, they're hiding in the beaver house. Get out of there. Gonna aim. This time. Come on. What? You got some? Gotcha. What'd you get? Is a. Uh, I don't know. Just barely a mouthful on there. A rock bass, I think. I see. Did you bring a rod? Nope. You want to take turns? Sure. Give me a sec. Pocket rod. Here's a worm. There we go. There's the worm and the rod. You can have a turn. Yeah, just aim for... You got some of the ripples nearby here. And then you got some out in the middle there. Used one before? Nope. All right. So you want to... trying to remember that. Because I just do it from muscle memory now. You want to... Yeah. Look in the general direction. Hold down your... 
Oh, in your in your pockets. Gra grab the worm. Then you'll put that on. Oh, good. How'd you how'd you do it? Uh, I just flew it back and then flew it forward. It's good. And then yeah, and then you sort of there's some muscle you use to sort of just sort of bop it around a bit to sort of get the fish's attention. So come mm -hmm. and grab it. And then you and then you really feel when it uh, grabs hold. <laughs> but then if none of them are really going for it, I think it's your I think it's your left shift muscle to uh, bring it back in and reset it and then try again. Just can't see where the other ones are going now. So many uh so many hiding around here. Oh yeah, good spot. That one bite on? Nope. Oh, I really thought that would have Surely. Maybe give it a little wiggle. Uh, I think it's uh, I'm trying to think which muscle it is. Yeah, you hold keep holding down your right click muscle and then it's Left click muscle to tap it to. It's a bit confusing. It. it is. It. That's what I told Lou. I said this is a little confusing. He said, "Yeah, it is at first. I see a duck and I'm feeling real compelled to shoot it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, you got my attention. I'm focused on the on the fish. Oh look, you got to catch at least one fish. And then when it when it bites on, use your space muscle, Whoop. and then you and then you're holding down, you're holding down left shit left your left shift mu muscle, your left katara muscle, and then you want to be, as you'd expect, you want to be uh, you know, aiming the rod in the opposite direction from. When they're struggling, you let them tire themselves out, and then you resume holding down your space bar right. muscle to reel them in. Then when you got it there, you uh, you wiggling the rod a bit to make the the bait move around a little. I, I can't seem to be able to wiggle it. I think I'm, I can't remember what I do. It's I all I can hook it. Memory. I can speed it. I can slow it down. I can stop. Uh, oh, there's two ducks now. Look at them taunting me. Well, you know, a few more tries. But then if you you really lose your patience, feel free to grab those ducks. I can have another go at the rod. And I can try and remember how to explain it better. Yeah, admittedly, I'm a very uh, impatient person. No, uh, understandable. You, you're catching up for lost time. Come on, fish. Come on. It's a perfectly good worm. Every time I throw it, they, they move away. Oh, I look too far away. Oh, look, across the river, beaver. I don't see it. Where I'm looking. Oh. Yeah, right there. Hey, look at the beaver. He's just a little guy. <laughs> oh, it's great seeing one on the land rather than sneaking around in the river at night. See, the legendary one's much bigger. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'll give you the rod there. Yeah, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can even catch a second fish. I, I might have just got lucky. Now I'm tapping the left click muscle 
to sort of bip it and bop ah. it around. I can't tell from here if they're going for it. Oh, there. Oh. Yep. I think you're just a professional fisherman. That's not my call. Come on. It's really getting away from you. It's a tough one. Come on, come on, tire out. My god, this is a battle. This is this is a rough one. Yeah, this one seems a bit like it gets in a bit. Ooh. Maybe, oh, stay right there. Stay right. Nah, and then, yeah, nah, it's just fine again. That one's, that one's putting up too great a fight. That fish That's is bad luck. That fish don't want to be caught today. Maybe fishing and capturing legendary beavers ain't our thing. Maybe it's just going in the random caves and shooting ducks. Yeah. Speaking of, I'm going to shoot a duck. I'm going to get on the other dam and shoot that duck that's taunting me. Okay, go for it. You know. She got it.
Good. Good. You got it? I got it. Well done. That was much quicker than me trying to get that second fish. It's all right. Maybe there's a better fishing spot nearby. Maybe. Maybe the Elysium pool? Yeah, maybe there or even maybe over at Ansberg or or St. Me or I don't know, anything. <laughs> you comfortable there? Oh dear, hang on. Oh. Ow. Alright, is that better? <laughs> it's fine, just making sure you're not hurting yourself. Like, Lieutenant made fishing look so easy. And I, and that last one there was just like the first one I tried catching up near, uh, oh, up near Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Then I camped up there overnight. And then the next morning, it was my mission. I said, I'm not going back till I catch a fish, God damn it. And then the second one was really easy. Well, you caught one today. I think, um, you know, everyone has their talents and... Maybe yours just ain't fishing, not like Lieutenant. Yeah, I just... So what is your talent? You're a lawman. What else do you like to do? I like to... I, I, I look forward to whenever there's a horse race. I enjoy racing horses. Mm -hmm. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. Shoot the turkey. See if we can get closer. I, won't I, never, I never had a turkey before. My, my revolver won't shoot. Oh. Oh, I think I needed a uh, an angle for it. Right. Hang on. Let's see. I think because otherwise I might accidentally shoot you in the head. I think it's by the river there. Hang on. Hang on. Nope. Not quite. Oh, you got him. All right. You want to skin it? Or pluck it? Sure. Come on, Georgie, calm down. All sure. Right. I just remembered I packed something else. What'd you pack? My hunting bow. Your hunting bow? I completely forgot. I don't even hunt with a bow. Should I be hunting with a bow? Well, I heard that it, uh, it, it, it's a cleaner kill, so then there's a bit more value in the pelt. Oh, right. Less damage to the that, meat, though. I guess. See, look. Hop on. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, you want to get the seagulls? Nah, they might come poke me on the coconut. There's a water snake. You see the snake in the water? Oh, yuck. <laughs> you don't like the water snakes? I don't like snakes in general. I can tell every time you pull a pistol of your horse so much as the winnies. I just keep hearing about how poisonous they can be, and it mm -hmm. just makes me nervous. I'm getting you a bottle of antidote for Christmas. That might be the most useful Christmas present I've ever gotten, apart from socks. Did you try the wine I gave you? Nah, I've been saving it. It's a, it was definitely a special occasion sort of prize. I thought, I'm th thinking now how stressful my shift today was. I probably should have had it straight after that. This wasn't things straight. Uh, why do that when you can just escape to the, the wilds out here? There's a whole bunch of them there. If we find a quiet spot, we'd probably sneak up on something like that. I can nab a few for you. Oh, yeah, this oh, deer in this area, too? Yeah, we'll find it. There's uh, lots of bucks near where we're going. Ah, excellent. 
we can get a pronghorn. The antlers are worth something. Ah, yeah. Um, Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right. You can get the the small game arrows for the for like bunnies and squirrels and that. Feel like we're in the right area. I'll trust your judgment. I have no idea where we are. Yeah, that's because you don't get out of your bubble enough. It's very true. Guilty as charged. Straight to jail. Ah. Oh. I've seen what it's like in Cisco. There's a fox. You see that fox? Surprise it hasn't run away. Got Good it. shot. All yours. I just need the arrow. Oh, look. And then over there. Deer or something. All right, Mr. Fox. Not quite pristine, but not bad. Yeah, I should probably have smaller arrows for ones like them. But I've only got the normal sized ones. You hear that gator? No. There's a gator. Oh, we gotta be careful. Oh, it's it's they're they're illegal out this way. They're like the, they're like the, the bison of the east. I know. I, as much as I hate them and I wish they didn't exist, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch it. Like I think, self defense is fine, but then don't go putting yourself in a situation where you require self defense. I guess. Oh, there's a fellow with a rowboat up there. We could probably borrow it. You want a boat in the gator swamp? Oh, up to you. How, how brave are you feeling? I told you I'm never brave. You're always scared. Yeah. I, well, as a lawman, we we can we can get spe special favors. We can ask to borrow uh, wagons and horses and robots and anything. Yeah, even if you're off duty. Yeah. So I just got to fly. I'm, I'll just tell him that I'll bring it back. There's a gator right in front of his boat. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, partner. Hi. Would it be okay if I borrowed your rowboat just for some hunting? Yeah. Oh, that's that's nice of you. Good evening, partner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah, of course. George, watch out for the, for the alligators. There's an alligator behind oh, you. That man might get eaten. Yeah, he's fine. How do I... Oh, I'm sorry. oh shit! Oops, <laughs> oops, sorry. No, my bad. Knee-jerk reaction. Where's my hat? I need to sit down now. I'm feeling anxious. Hang on. Not sure how I... Uh... There we go. Alright, let's see which hat I pick up. How do I... How do I... How do I get in the driver's seat? Ah! That's what I'm wondering. Oh, who... Howdy! Ah. Howdy! Is that uh, you, Sheriff Lewis? Yes, it is. What are, how are y'all doing? Oh, good. I'm You're... well. It's, uh, it's me, George what? Hughes, and this is uh, Cynthia Wheeler. What Hello, is going on, Eddie? Oh, just... Rolling around, hunting buck. Uh, we were uh, trying to fish, but I'm bad at it. Oh. I don't think I've ever... I haven't seen anyone boat in the uh, bayou before. Yeah. I, yeah. It seems like a nice place to roll around. Just just trying to keep steer clear of gators. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. There could be mosquitoes everywhere, too. Ah, that'll horse be fine. Horseflies? Yeah, horseflies? Yeah. Horseflies? You ain't ever horse been bit by a horsefly? No, and I don't wanna. A fly's big a hole. Hi, 
How are y'all doing? Where are you up to? Oh, we're just patrolling around. I was surprised to see you all in there. Mr. Mr. Hughes here needed a vacation from Blackwater. Oh, that's fair. That's so fair. we've been exploring some caves. Tried to oh, fight yeah. a legendary beaver and lost. <laughs> and lost? The beaver got lost. It fell into the, oh, into the, the water. We couldn't get it out. Okay. The, the yeah. current is very strong. <laughs> I thought you lost. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant you lost to it. And I was like, it was a fish? <laughs> Ow. Oh. Don't mind me. I'm not I need sure to if sit. I can roll. need to relax. Yeah, I don't know if you can roll. Oh. Also, I'm wearing your hat. Ah. Oh, get out of the water. There's a crocodile in there. Oh, we're alligator. It's fine. You can oh borrow my, my hat. Oh, oh, shit. Kill the king on Oh, there. yeah. Oh. Seems like a lover's quarrel over there. I don't yeah. think I, I can roll like this. That. I think this is the last cause. We need to get back to the end without getting this. There's just too many boxes and I'm just gonna, I'm bags. getting out of here. I can't, I can't get in the seat to grab the oars. Oh. Best laid plans didn't work out just like fishing. That's all right. Those deers <laughs> should still be over here. Mm-hmm. Well, you'll be safe. You too. Enjoy your little holiday, Corbs. Oh. Uh -huh. Who? Who? Hughes. I apologize, Hughes. George? <laughs> yes, George. Oh, all right. Thank you. George. Enjoy you. I'll, I'll try and find some fat loot. <laughs> I hope you do. That's a good idea. <laughs> Got him. Have a good one, Corbs. <laughs> oh my god. Got him. Oh, I still see some over there. Think. Or is that a rock? Shit. Now, there they all go. God damn it. Gotta get my arrow back. It moved its head. It started moving. I lost my... It happens to the best of us. Damn it, I can't see any others. Oh, damn it. Alright. Uh, oh. Can't spot any. What's that? Oh, the boar over there. Okay, I'm gonna try and. Boar is a good sell if you can yeah. get a pristine. Look, I'll do my best. This time I'll try and hit it. I believe in you. They get angry though, they'll charge you. Oh god. Trying to get good angle. You want me to make it angry? Well, not a ball. There's a coyote sticking his head up. Oh, have that ball still there. Oh dear. Nice work. Perfect coyote pelt. Oh, I'm redeeming myself. You are. All right, which way do we reckon? Maybe keep going uphill. See what we can find. Oh, the mist rolling in. Keep your eyes peeled.
You see anything? I saw a movement down this way. Oh. Something small. Good spot. There's a rabbit. He's getting away. I, I don't know if I'm good enough to hit a rabbit, get a rabbit. like that. I hear a chipmunk. You want to get a chipmunk? <laughs> Chip. There'll be nothing left of it. People like the fur. What are they made? Are they little ear warmers? Hey, you sew enough of them together. Oh, jeez. There's yeah. a raccoon. Get the raccoon. Ah, damn it. Damn. Bastard. Elk. You saw an elk? I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it oh. this way. Good. And the fog's rolling out. The sun's coming up. Perfect. We'll follow your ears. Up oh, right ahead of me is, I think, a raccoon. Oh, yeah, there he is. I'll get out of your way. Uh, you can do it. Got there him. you go. Oh, a little graveyard. Your ass. There we go. Ah. Oh. Maybe there's a maybe there's an open grave ready for him. Who's put who's putting people in the ground out this far? Maybe then. Cannibals. Maybe. You're from the family you come from. Are the they family? You, you say you know they're all uh, connected and rich and that. Are they uh -huh. that sort of rich? Where they're the type of people that have like, like a big plot at a graveyard? Oh yeah, we got a mausoleum. Gee, that, damn. That that's that's when you know someone real this rich. Box. Not just in life, but in death as well. They get to show yeah. off. Oh. You see him when he's gone now. Oh, that way. Yep, it's a mausoleum with lots of generations in it already. Shit. They made space for me. Do you find that a little creepy? Oh, definitely. I get unnerved in graveyard. Yeah. A lot of people aren't afraid of death, but I am. Oh, there he is. Got him. It's perfect. Turkey as well. This is going to be a good few dollars right here. Happy to help. We'll be splitting the sharings. I'll give you some money. Oh, that's very kind of you. I've always got. Lord knows you need it. The government doesn't pay you enough. Oh, I'd probably it'd help if I worked more. And then I nabbed a turkey down here. Where'd he, where'd he... Uh, down here somewhere. I think I've gotten in the into the rhythm of it. Oh, right here. Yeah, that might be another good one. Uh. Yeah, pretty good. Not perfect, but... Who's that arrow? Mostly just taking the meat. And some feathers. Some talons. Oh, and the beak. Yeah, the beak is good, too. I caught an owl earlier. Well, I shot... I, I've been shooting owls out of the sky. They're bringing good money because the people want the talons. Did you hear it? Did you see it, or did you hear it go on hooting away? I, I see him before I hear him. Well done. I shot an eagle as well. Didn't know, I don't know if that's illegal or not, but 
Well, no one told me otherwise. As far as I've heard, it's just the bison and the alligators. But if right. it's a bald eagle, maybe just keep it to yourself. It was like, oh, I know it might have been a hawk. It was like a, a rough-legged hawk or something. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Thank. Oh, and I got a vulture because I left a, I left the carcass on the ground. A vulture started coming, so I was using them as bait. That's smart. That is smart. Oh, that moonlight. Bloody hell. This moonlight's very atmospheric. Yeah, I hope nothing. I hope there's no crazy people out. I hope not. There's some lights out to the this way. Should we go to the light? You want to see? Oh, why not? Campfire sounds nice. He's getting a bit cold. My legs are just a bit tired. I'm I'm walking slow tonight. Well, soon enough we'll head to Manzanita Post, sell up, and then uh, then you can get back to work if you want. I probably should fit in another hour at least tonight. Just, yeah. just so that Harkness and that have a bit of help. Well, I'll be around if you need me. Need a talk or anything. I appreciate that. And same, same. Likewise. <coughs> oh. And I decided I wasn't going to listen to anyone who was telling me to stay out of Valentine, so I've been spending most of my time there at the moment. Well, you just be ready on that rifle. Oh, another... Some, hold on, there's some deer over to the left. Let me see if I can nab another good one. Is that close one right through the head would be perfect. You even got the further away one. Look at you. I'd say I got a feeling it'd be better. Someone tells me. It's in perfect condition. You got it right in the neck. I just, I got to redeem myself. I can't catch a fish, but I can hunt a deer and turkey and. And I can peel and... a deer. Oh, I don't want to look at that part. Doesn't look like a campfire, just a lantern. Uh, that's a shame. Well, it's not too no, cold. Miss is gone. I wonder if anyone at home. Hello? Hello? Here, chickens? Law Department! Make yourself a Oh, hey, chickens! Hi, chicken! Oh, a little chicken coop. Hi, friend. Oh, no. Anyone home? It's just unlocked? Just oh, it's real shabby in here actually. Oh dear. The chickens have free range in the house. Oh this there's not even a door on this I can't see shit. I think, I think it's been abandoned here for a while. These poor chickens left to fend for themselves. Unless the chickens built this. <laughs> Maybe the chickens are smarter than we think. Just a table with some chairs. A rocking a chair. There's no bed? Oh, wait, hold oh, on. Up, there's, up a, in the... there's a ladder. A ladder? Oh, hang on. Just there. Oh, careful. Nope, it's broken. Ah. Oh. oh. It's, a, it's a loft. That's a and shame. Listen. These poor chickens all left all alone. This Run free! Nice go chickens! Although they could easily jump the fence, to be honest. So we'll go out the other door. Maybe they... Look, they're going inside like they're in the place. This is a chicken house. Chicken house. Oh, maybe they killed their original owners and the chickens are running over. They they rose up. Well, who am I? Who am I? To... Nope, that, that one's had enough. Who am I to stop some chickens from living their best life? Mm -hmm. You want to call George? Shit. Where did I leave her? In the fields out. She's not far away. Oh dear. A little bit of a walk. Might find some more. I hear an eagle. Way. You hear the eagle? What's an eagle sound like? Uh, like a screeching sound. A bit like that. I, I guess I kind of block that stuff out. You gotta listen when you're out in the wild. I mainly listen for. Okay, that deer's freaking me out. 
I don't like that. I don't like that. Where's Georgie? Think, Georgie? Think over, over this rise in a bit. Right. Yeah, I mainly look, listen out for, you know, fast hooves. Gunshots. A, a wagon rolling too fast. Explosions. Gunshots, explosions. You know, Screaming people. That's, yeah, I guess my, I guess my hearing is very selective where I only really do that now based on my training. Have you noticed that I'm still wearing your hat, by the way? That's fine. I don't, I don't really need a hat till the sun's back out. Georgie. Think over this way. Ducks flying over here. You ever go duck hunting with your family? Oh. No, no, not at all. You just had to watch not them. Not a lady's do it? place is what I was told, and oh. I never got to even to watch. Well, considering how good a shot you are, that's a that's their loss. I had formal shooting lessons, and that's it. Oh. Clay pigeons, that's all. Oh, that's and that was boring. only a couple times, so they could basically put it in my repertoire as something I'm good at. So I, I had to play the piano, had to learn to dance, had to learn how to paint a little bit. Some of the saloons sometimes need someone uh, playing the piano. You can earn a few uh, dollars there. I hate playing the piano. Oh. You don't like music? No, I love music. I hate playing them. Oh, fair. I ain't very good. Is Georgie all right? Oh, she's, she'll be fine. She just likes to take a look around. One of them magic deers disappearing out from oh. behind my eyes as soon as I shoot it. Damn it. I think she's just down here. There's something that tells me. Come on, horse. I think I like growing plants. I think I want to try that. You ever considered uh, becoming a farm, a ranch hand? That could be fun, if I don't become a doctor. Well, they always seem nice out at Emerald Ranch. Uh, Miss O'Neill was running it for a while, but she's now uh, becoming a real estate agent or something. Gold's wife runs Emerald Ranch, right? Uh, Firefly Finch or something? Yeah, Firefly. Is that his wife? That's his wife, his missus. Shit. T Tells me that's all he needs in the world, is there? Right, I... No idea. Well, yeah, she, apparently she runs it now, so... Yeah, but they, they... Why is Georgie not coming? That's Georgie. They could be a down a pair of hands, so it could be a job opening there. Could be. Come on! What are you doing? That bird disappeared, dude. Damn it. You see the boar? Where? Right over here. Hi, boar. 
Ha! Ah, he's gonna get angry. Come here, buddy. Come get. Oop, there you go. <laughs> I ain't letting him charges. I was keep him in the face. Four meats good. It's like bacon. <laughs> That's a lot of bacon. I don't know what the deal is with Georgia right now. I think she's found a plant or something. What? You found some carrots? Dear, oh dear. She's like, what she you... seems fun. So where yeah, you it. been? All right. All right. <laughs> We're gonna head Manzanita. Sounds good. Oh, hang on, I didn't... Stupid man. Thanks for the work, Dill. Thanks, Mike. I was going the wrong way. This way. There's a buck. Damn it. Every, every time I'm finishing up hunting and leaving an area, that's when everything I wanted to hunt up here. Maybe, maybe next time you go hunting, do that at the start. You know, you rock up somewhere and then you be like, well. That time to go, pack it in. Guess I'm I going. You. you speak really loud and then uh, yeah. just as you out, you just surprise them back. Exactly, I'll do that. I'll try that next time. Uh, if you're ever looking for me, I'm always gonna be at Valentine or even if you're if I'm near Blackwater and you see me around town, I'm probably running up to the Great Plains to hunt. Um or between Blackwater and the Manzanita Post, because Manzanita's real convenient for selling my pelts and all my parts. It's a nice spot. I always wonder if that place is available to buy just to just to live. If you like bears, it's your neighbors. Oh yeah, the, the bears. The bears. Also, people have been telling me they get told to boost horses from there. So I don't know how you feel about people trying to steal Georgia. Oh, that, that would be horrible. Uh, Louisa was there earlier and someone tried to steal her horse thinking it was a horse that they were told to steal. Oh. And she uh, pulled a raffle on him. Fair. Right, rightfully so. Yeah, absolutely. God, I hope... I hope, oh, I hope Harkness and that have had an all right time around tonight. Can I say something pretty blunt? Sure. If you go back on duty and you find something terrible has happened and uh, you feeling guilty about it, can you try not to feel guilty about it? Just say, you know, remind yourself that you weren't there and that's okay. I'll try. Um, Cause I know I, I feel like you have a tendency to beat yourself up, and uh, no, it ain't your fault if you're not there. I know it's, it's just hard. To... There's just some things in the past that I I could have I could have could have done differently. Yeah, but you can only change the next you know ten minutes to one year of your life. I, I, it, it's hard. It's, I, I lost somebody. It was my fault. I mean, you don't have to tell me anymore if you don't want to. Uh, you don't know anybody, any context. Yeah, I just, yeah, but you make a good point. It's, you know, it's done. You can only focus on the next one. I just, it's, it's hard not to... It's hard to forget. It, I don't, I don't know what happened, but it wasn't your fault. That's as much as I know. I don't talk about it very often. I, you don't, you don't have to. I understand. I might tell you more another time, but I'm trying to focus on the, the next thing. Maybe now. if you do decide to tell me, it's. We sit down in the saloon somewhere where no one's gonna bother us, and we open that eight-dollar bottle of wine. I was gonna say we would probably need a bottle of wine. We open the bottle of wine. <laughs> you don't owe anyone any explanation, all right? All right, I'll try and keep that in mind. 
Thanks, Cynthia. I have another thing to ask you, actually. Shoot. Like, uh, I think yesterday, one of the times that I saw you, I don't think you saw me this time, but I feel like I've, I've caught wind of you a few times around the county because I'm always on the move. Mm. And I don't sit in the middle of Blackwater punching people in the head for an hour like <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> so I see, I've been seeing you a lot. And one of the times I was heading from the Great Plains back into Blackwater and you were chasing two people on a horse, a girl and someone else. Yeah. And um, I pulled up because I recognized you. And as I stopped and I looked at you, you you shot her in the head. And I, I know she probably deserved it, but I just want to admit that it sort of unnerved me seeing that party at so up close. Was this yesterday at, outside Blackwater at night near the near the Boston Fields? That, that's right. So there was. From what I recall, the, the lady on the back of that horse was lassoing people in town, speeding up and down. I asked multiple times to stop. She had a fella rope behind the horse and mm -hmm. was riding out of town with him, so I gave chase. And I was, you know, asking, you know, please, you know, stop, you know, pull over the horse multiple times. Um... When when the word wasn't getting through, I pulled my gun and said, you know, I'm I'm you know I'm warning you, stop the horse. They slowed down. She pulled a shotgun on me, so I fired. Yeah, I saw that. I was, I don't think you saw me, but I was maybe 25 meters away. I don't recall seeing you. I probably had tunnel vision at the time, yeah. but, but yeah, as soon as I saw that shotgun get pulled on me. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw it and I understood probably why it happened, but uh. You see something like that sometimes, it just sticks in your mind, right? I don't blame you, but it's, this is one of the scary parts of the job. Is, uh... You know, you try to tell people to stop what they're doing, uh, verbally, as best you can, but then sometimes it, it, it escalates quite quickly, and you gotta be ready for that. Are you alright doing things like Oh, I'd rather not! And that, that's like another thing I wanted to say as well is that that stuff is also not your fault. Well, it's I'm trying to stop people from doing things that'll hurt others. Like these people getting roped up in the middle of the street, they ain't asking for that. Yeah. These people just treating them like like play things. Well, actually, with all 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 said and done, though, if you see me do that dirt, uh, I'd like to just provide context that that is um is necessary. All right. Dirt sounds like a little bit of a worry, so I, dirt I, I get is, it. Dirt uh, is what I would call a dirt bag. Right. And he's, uh, he's pretty disgusting, so if you see me do that, know that I was pushed to that. Self-defense is, is okay. All right. No, I'd rather not ever shoot anyone. It's just a lot of these people, like, I, in a perfect world, they wouldn't be doing these things to begin with. Yeah. But then it's, I would just really like it that if we, when we tell them, you know, please stop doing that. That thing that is obviously, you know, bad for other people. I just wish they would just stop. But a lot of times they don't. So I was just seeing a gentleman running around down by the road there. Just trying to speed up, get get away from that in case it's a... I don't know if you ever see people by the roadways and you think it's a trap. Back, back in the old days, you know, back... Uh, yeah, everyone used to be, uh, you know, was uh, regularly trained how to throw rope. You know, lasso right. people, but over time, it's just a skill that's sort of uh, been left by the wayside. So it's so it's it's hard. Like we want to, we don't want to be harming people. We want to be getting them in cuffs or roped up. But mm -hmm. you know, to do that, we gotta catch them on ways and get close. But but then if they pull a gun on us, well, there goes that element of surprise. Yeah. You know. Interestingly enough, is that uh, us spending time together like this and spend a few hours, people catch wind of this. People might not be too happy with me. Why? Because I'm cozying up to the law. I'm not out here on duty. I'm not no. thinking as a lawman. You know man. what they're like. I don't mind though. Well, it's it's not cozying up to the law. It's I I appreciate every. Every person that lives here that shows us some basic common decency and respect, because that's, that's how we want to treat people, too. 
It's fine. I think you'll see. You just might hear some comments. You might see some tension. But uh, just know that I don't mind what they say. All right. try I mean, they keep trying to make me not hang out with gold. They keep trying to make me... I don't know, I'm feeling like the last few days people have just been telling me where to shit, what to eat, where to go, where to sleep, and where not where I'm not allowed to go, and I'm tired of it. That sounds more strict than the Lord Palm. We just don't want people to be, you know, hurting other people and stealing other people's belongings. It's mm -hmm. and just looking after each other. It's very simple. Apart from that, do what you want. Yep. The way I see it is the uh, the people who mind don't matter, and the people who don't matter mind. Yeah. So if if the people that I care about ain't gonna care what I do. In the Lord Department, they're always saying things about us. We get oh. even on days and times when we do everything perfectly by the book, we're still getting pulled out oh, like yeah. as if we have got no spines and this and that. But then when we then when we match their their strength a bit, then we're told that we're corrupt. Can't win. Mm hmm. Alright, if you got pelts at this door here. What happened to this guy? Bear? Probably. Oh my god. I don't think we can sell the turkey or the duck here. Oh, really? They, they need to be butchered and uh, oh, can't I see. really do that here. Which is the only. This is unfortunate. This place looks like it'd be perfect to do some butchering, but. Oh. No. <laughs> Just hang the duck up. Hang up the duck. Oh, Hughes is. Oh, he's he's a he's a monster, eh? Absolute monster. <laughs> what a bastard. Please, please stop doing that thing that's bad. Oh, you don't want to stop doing the thing that's bad? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I'm bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh. I'll go put this guy to rest out the back by a tree so he's not out for everyone to see. Good idea. Rest in peace, fella. God, the amount of bodies I gotta see. Jesus. That's pretty bad. Never get used to that, do you? No. Nope, nope, nope. Nice area. Love all the big trees. And look, they've even got grass on the roof. How, how nice is that? It's nice. So this is sort of house I could actually see in. It's very integrated into nature. Yeah, a place like this. Oh, there's a farm out past Strawberry. Probably my favorite two properties that I've seen. I just, I'd love to live in one like that one day. I like that chicken house. I think I could set that up mighty fine and keep some chicken. Yeah, I... I wonder what the hell happened there, but I'm actually kind of kind of glad to see some chickens just living their best life in a chicken house. It's nice. It's no matter what happens to the people who live somewhere, the animals persevere. Yeah. Yeah, they don't need us. No, we're a nuisance. Did you see that new train bridge out there? I have. Um, I'm scared to touch it, to be honest. Yeah, I've heard... I've heard it's a bit dangerous because a train could come by any time. I ain't no conspiracy theorist, but I feel like I'll get a headache if I, if I go near that much mm. bit. I just... I just feel...
feels like they built it overnight. Like they really work hard. They do. Check on the bison. Oh, yeah. It'll be fine. Take a deep breath. Okay. Hold on. Is that a wagon on the tracks? What? What the hell sure are they is. doing? Oh my goodness. Are they mad? Uh, maybe it's not too bad to touch it. Are they mad? Oh my god. This is the damage before. It's still here. You, I don't know if you can see the body there, but I still can. There's the live ones. Oh. All things. Look at them. All happy and healthy, though. They're yeah. all right. Protecting Good. the herd. Good. You are a good man, Mr. Hughes. Thank you. I haven't heard any gunshots coming into Blackwater yet, which is nice. I'm sure it's all fine. Yeah. And even if it's not, remember what I told you. Yeah, it's not my it's not my fault. Exactly. Did you have a nice time? I did. Did you? I did. Excellent. Oh, and I still owe you some of the income from the No the rush. Animal. If you need to use that to buy a bow, go for it. Alright. Consider an investment in our next hunting endeavor. That's it. Actually, I've got to sell some tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, sell them before they go bad. Oh, the flies are because of the bodies on the horse. I was like, why are there flies? So get these to the butcher and then you're free. <laughs> Make it sound like I'm doing time. Well, kinda. Oh, the butcher right here by the department? Mm hmm Oh, handy. Well, oh, ow. oh, shit! You okay? Well, yeah. Shit. I'm right. I mixed up my. I thought I was telling her to stop, but I, told, I fell off instead. Oh my. Right. Hey, Georgie, get on out of the way. Come on, you're not going inside. No. Oh, yeah, don't forget, yeah, don't forget the duck. All right, you are free man. Oh, thank you. I, be I better get my hat back. They, oh, right. they won't recognize me without my damn hat. Thank you, miss. And uh, you got all that blood on you, so don't forget to take a bath. Yeah, you better put, yeah, you better take a bath before I get back to my uniform. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll see you next time, and I'll see you around definitely. I'm gonna head to Valentine shortly after. So. I'll probably see you out that way. I'll you know, go see if I can help out the rest of the department for a bit. But all yeah, right. but yeah, hunt again soon. Oh shit, Luis is here. You oh, you're, yeah. you snuck up no. on me. I saw you. I was just gonna wait till your end of the conversation. I'm just gonna go uh, butcher up this duck. Apparently, you can't speak while you're butchering, so if I'm quiet. Why How's that? I... Why can't I brush the horse? Oh, 
can't brush the horse. Where are you taking me, sir? I think that's Woodman. Bring her back! Oi! <laughs> Pretty sure that's Woodman. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <clears throat> okay. Hold on, I think it's Todd! I had to pull the rifle, I couldn't... Todd, that is you, right? Oh. Hello, I was just having a joke. I'm fine. I'm okay. I was I bad with the lasso, so I had to pull out the rifle and scare him. I got, oh. It was funny. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. Ah. Uh, oh, oh no, no, don't. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, oh, no. People are looking for you, George. Oh God, who? No. John Black. Don't. Who the fuck's John Black? I don't know. Uh, the. Bison lady's husband. Bison lady's husband. Yeah, they said it's something to do with some bison thing. I don't know what's going on. Oh God. Will you free uh, now? Uh, where, do, uh, well, where, the, where do they live? Uh, in Blackwater. They run the business next to the sheriff's department. Oh, uh, hang on. I'll they do? That. Yeah, the blacksmith there. Oh. Yeah, I bumped into him here about 15 minutes ago. Hey. That was so good for me. Oh, sorry. Uh, hang on. I was trying to. Uh, Hold up. <laughs> so, so I was talking to Cynthia, and in the middle of the sentence, I get roped. God, here you go. Woodman, he's sneaky <laughs> like that. <laughs> Behave yourself. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was. I'm crying from laughter. Well done, okay, Todd. Though. Well done. I'm, I'm okay. Man, I, 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 I dress, I dress like this, and no one knows who I am. I recognize that hair and beard it's, anyway. It's good to look. It's good to see you, you know, in out of uh, off-duty outfit. You know. Yeah. I can't flee my damn horse. Oh no. Todd, you want to come with me to the stables and that? Okay. Come on. I don't know what this Mr. Black looks like. Uh, he's got, he's got, he's got a mustache, he's got longish hair at the moment. That could be you fucking anyone. You know, you don't, I don't think you have to go. I reckon you could go, you know, get, you can... I gotta get my horse go stabled, go. grab a bath, okay. get on yeah. duty. If, we, right, if we see him, we see him, but I'm not going out of my way. Okay. I was gonna take you hunting, Miss Hart. Oh, you want to do that now? Uh, you, you, no, 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 I'll take, I'll take you to get your bath. Yeah, just find me later, okay? I'll be, okay. I'll stick around. Oh, there look he is. You, you look after each other, okay? Well, that I'm one. Pretty sure that was, I'm pretty sure that was him. Should we check? I think he's running to the boat. Oh, there's no dock, man. I saw a dock. I went to get a boat sent in You reckon that's no... him? I, I got a feeling. Looks like he was short ahead. Ask. I don't know. For a second, I thought it was. I could be completely wrong. Hello? Howdy. Is that him, Todd? I, I don't know. I didn't see his face. Is that them there? On the street? Where? Uh. What's his name again? John. Are you John? No, I don't think it's him, is it? Are you John Black? No. Incorrect, friend. All right. That's one. Yeah, sorry. For, I, for a second, I thought it was him. I, I was like, wow, he got his head cut real quick, but I guess he's. Uh, what, the blacksmith here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's have a look inside.
But yeah, it was when I was around the dock earlier, and I was looking for the boatman, and then him and and uh, I Ivory or whatever her name is approached me. Well, I woke up at the doctor's office thanks to Miss Wheeler. Apparently, I was defending the bison, which was getting no uh, four bison or something got shot by three people. Okay. Wait, they shot the bison? Yeah, she said she saw about three or four killed. Well, what were they using for the killing? Rifles. Okay. Yeah, she saw them circling me, and I got shot, and I shot oh, them, and person there running around. Yeah, okay. I don't like this new train track. I don't know how I feel about it either. Why can't I? Oh, it probably helps if I'm clicking the right button. Right. Hopefully my horse behaves a bit now. Okay. <laughs> I need a bath. Okay. Whoops. Right. My mouse is jumping around. Yeah, he, he didn't seem too happy. Well, I'm not too happy to hear about people butchering bison. Yeah, I don't like the butchering the bison either. I killed a black bear before. Shot with my arrow. Evening, partner. Well, I don't think it's illegal to hunt bear. No. Is this where the, uh, the, the bath is in here? Hey, it's just down here. Good evening. Yeah, you are so slick. You're Maybe. fucking casual. Look at you. Todd outside? Sorry? Todd outside? I'm not used to you calling him Todd. Uh, yes, he is. He's being a new... Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, where is he? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he got it. I just heard him jumping around. <laughs> Todd, what are you doing? Uh, I'm... 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 Hello. All right, well, I'm probably going to go and do it. I'll probably just go up, check, like, Strawberry Valentine and that. Sorry! Yeah. Then, but, yeah, if you want to go hunt and go for it, or, you know, if you oh, want to go and do it. it's okay. No! <laughs> Sorry, I have a reason for this, George. Don't you worry. No. <laughs> they go going hunting, are they? We need to take uh, him to a secluded we... sp place and leave him and then run away, all right? Are, are we being uh, uh, hunted? Uh, <laughs> oh, no, this is... This is a horrible idea. Oh, what? Let me go. Um, take him out towards the bison. Oh, don't let us loose on the bison. I ain't seen well, nothing. I'll meet you there. Unbelievable. Eh. Sorry, Todd.
It's illegal. I don't. I don't know. You comfortable? I'm okay. Where'd they go? I know. Glad there's no no wolves out here though. Dry, I'll check. Oh, I think I see him. Do people not fear the uh, the the uh, indigenous the? Uh, We're leaving them here. With the the scalping after the bison attack. No, nope, people don't ain't scared about getting scalped. Oh, they should be. That'd really suck. You'd think so. Oh no. Uh. All right. You guys can uh, wriggle free when we leave. See ya. Sorry, Todd. Okay. Goodbye. I right, know you have to. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> One morning they're dead. Oh my god. Frula, just just telling you, she told me to do that. I, I suggested it as a joke, and then she was all for it, so I made her happy. Well, happy to be out. If they get married, we can say we were responsible. Guilty as charged. Apparently, uh, Mr. Black is looking for me regarding the bison incident. Just keep your cool, de-escalate. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, because Blackwater people are really r reasonable. It'll be fine. Right, I better get changed. Get out and find right. Artemis. You stay safe, Miss Wheeler. You too. I'll try. I'll keep. I'll keep what you said in mind. What store is it? That's the. Clark wouldn't use the clothing store. Do it for you too. Pardon? Do what? The uh, uh the tailor looks a bit weird in there. Not nah, it all seem normal to me. It might just be me. Try it. Stay strong. You too, mate. Howdy. Hello? Got you, right? I think so. Hey. Are you Mr. Black? Yeah, I'm Mr. Black. I heard you were looking for me. I was, sir. Sorry, my horse is in a uh, weird spot. That is a bit of a weird spot. Come on around. Me? No, you're fine, Roy. You're fine. I'll speak to... Over here, George. We can speak. Oh, uh, for some reason I'm spinning. No, I, 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 I'm I spin every now and again as well. The planet we're on. Uh, George, I need to speak to you about what happened with my wife earlier. Go for it. Where the hell are you going? Me? Why are you, why are you following him? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I thought that was you. Yeah, I thought he was. So I didn't see the mouth moving. You're fine, you're fine, pal. So I, you, uh, he just, he had a black outfit, black hair. I thought that's gotta be Mr. Black. Yeah. Sorry, pun. I, faces what and happened, names. What happened with my wife earlier? What's going on? Which one's your wife? One to my right. Hey. Well, if I'm under the right impression, I've heard she was hunting bison. No, I don't think I was. No, no, you didn't. You didn't hear she was hunting bison. She doesn't hunt bison. She can't shoot. Well, that's what I heard from a pretty reliable source. Who and was who was, the source? who was the source? A friend of mine. Tell you me wanna, the name, George. Yeah, you want to tell us? Rather not. Well, do you want to die here today? 
Not really. Well, give me the sauce, partner. There's the other lawmen on duty. They were watching. Okay, who? Well, the other West Law Department. Names, George. Mm. Come on. <laughs> we just had three new recruits. Come on. Who's... So you got Woodman, you got Harkness, you got Sledge. I don't think they were around. You got well, I think they passed it on with a report. No, I don't think so, because I just shown up. Who the hell are you? It's me. You should walk on, partner, unless you want to get shot. Thank you. All right. Who was it, George? Come on, give me a name, or you're getting shot today. Come on, that bullet really hurt. I've already been shot today. All right, what's going on? Hey, put the gun down, partner. Don't be a hero. I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him. George is at gunpoint. Do not. Put yeah, the gun yeah. down. No, yours. You you put your gun down. Let the Lord make it. Yeah, you put your gun down. Us. Todd, George is, if you shoot, George is gonna die. Simple. I'll shoot him. Look, no one needs to get no, no one needs to get shot here, okay? Todd, no they won't believe me shot. that you saw me deal with the bison. You know, is this over the goddamn bison thing? This is over the Hell goddamn yes. bison thing. Oh, for fuck's sake! I got shot I'm in the shoulder. I'm serious about bison, man. I quite like them. I, I like, like bison too, all right? Now put the gun That's down, plastic. Woodman. If you put yours down, I'll put I'll mine put it down. down if you put you it let down. the lawman go there, you know? He's not restricted. We're just having a conversation. Okay, I'm going to put the gun down if you put yours down, all right? Yeah, all right. No all one's right. getting shot here, all no, right? No, I don't want anyone to get shot here either, you know? No, no one trying to do any sudden movements because my nope. wife will shoot George, all right? Yep, no, I understand. All right. I'm going to okay. put the gun down now, all right, Woodman. No. All right. All right. I'm trusting you. you I'm trusting you too here, John. No, I'm trusting you as well. All right, all right. I'm gonna all right, the gun. okay. Okay. All right. <coughs> Lower your gun. Ivory. Now. It's all right, George. We ain't gonna shoot you. You're fine. Thank you. Maybe, uh, what do you think, Ivory? Maybe an apology from George here for oh, hurt. That would be do you lovely. Think, do you think that'd be nice? What do you My think, My shoulder's George? really bruised, and it's very painful. My shoulder's hurt too. I don't... Oh, we're not talking about you. We're talking about me. I woke George, up in the George. doctor's office not knowing a goddamn today. thing. Hurting my head. Well, who was the source, then? Who was the fellow who said it was hurt? Local law department. They were watching from afar. They saw me get shot down by Doesn't some people. Doesn't happen to be that girl that was in the doctor's office with you, was it? Was Cynthia, she, is her name? She was just the one that carted me back home. Who's Cynthia? You know Cynthia. We met her the other day. She wanted to be a doctor. She's from oh, a different county. Oh, she's actually quite lovely. Mm, yeah, but I don't think she's going to like black Wait, she was much. the one who said it. I think so. So, George, you telling me I'm going to have to go and shoot Cynthia? If you don't tell us who it is, we're going to go after her, that lovely girl. Are you threatening a, a citizen no. of this country? No. I'm just it's warning. A it's a promise, George. Look, maybe you just Come apologize on, to Ivory and we can walk away and no one gets shot. You called me a today. bitch as well, George. Come on. I don't think I called Who anyone called a bitch. bitch. Oh, I remember. I think I called someone a dumb fuck for being a dumb fuck. Oh, yeah, sorry. A dumb fuck. A bitch. Same thing. Still hurt. Come on, you can apologize to my wife. Come on. Mr. Come George. on, George. Let's, so we can all walk away safe and sound. I just, find, this behind us, hey? I just find it strange that everyone's got a, they went to the doctors, got a better memory than I had from after the doctors. Oh, I've got a lot of people telling me stories, George. I got a lot of people telling me stories too, so I'd, I'd like you to apologize for hunting bison. I didn't hunt the bison. There goes that. Apologize to me. Why are you being so hostile? There's that classic Blackwater gaslighting. I don't gaslighting? Mean, I don't apologize to gaslighters. Oh, you're this kidding ain't, me. This ain't, this ain't, you're making it hard just to apologize and we can move away from here. I'm sorry that you find it Thank you, so easy to do illegal activities. I swear to God, I'll shoot your partner. We're not illegal activities. All right, you shot my wife. This could be a it whole hurts. lot worse than it is right now. It hurts. She's actually a really nice lady, mister. Why would you shoot her? Exactly. Thank you, Clark. She gave me $20 just for no reason. You tell that exactly. to the dead bison up on that hill. I didn't shoot the goddamn what if the bison. bison tried okay, okay, to hurt okay. Her? Would yeah. you not defend your life, mister? Yeah. You shot me in the shoulder and it hurt, and that's all I want is an apology. I didn't shoot you. Exactly. 
Like, I got no business here. I, I'm always going to walk away, but that's just my opinion. Thank, Thank you. you, Claude. Love you, Clyde. What a good man. All right. I think we're all understanding here, aren't we? I'm not understanding. I want a goddamn apology, and I'm not going to take this foul response. You're going to apologize to me, George. Just apologize so we can all walk away. For God's sakes. What is so hard about apologizing? What am I apologizing for again? For shooting me in the goddamn arm. It hurts. If My I, feelings, you know. If I understand our yes. procedure with our training, I probably would have given you a verbal warning. And yeah, if, but you and if didn't. people don't comply, then we have to escalate it. So I'm just shot following me in the my arm. job. I'd be shot asking for an arm. apology from the marshals for the rules. You are going to apologize. For God's sakes, George. I'm going to put a bullet in Woodman. Just fucking do it. I'd really rather you didn't shoot Woodman because he's a good well, fella. Please apologize to my wife so I can go and get back to work, for God's sakes. I apologize. Thank you. That's all it took. You're all good, Woodman. Careful. No one's getting shot. And you, Sheriffs, have a wonderful day. Hey, sorry for uh, holding Moves. you boys up. Leave Mr. Hughes alone. He apologized. Thank you. Let's go. Pathetic apology. All right, give him a break. Give him a break. He shot me in the arm, John. It hurts. My arm is in pain. What do you want to do? Howdy. What can we do? Still hurt. Hey, guys. Come on, let's go. You're not going hunting? Uh, yeah, yeah, no. I'll, I came back to let you know that we couldn't get out of our fines. How'd you get out? Uh, I can't say. But, uh, yeah, uh, at the moment, the binds are, uh, stuck that we actually can't wiggle out. Yeah, we, we uh, and that, that's why we came out. back, and then we saw, uh, well, everything that just happened in. I'm so sorry. No, I told, I told you apologize. I, I thought you could wriggle out. Yeah, no, you know? no, 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 no. I uh, just, just, just be aware, uh, in future, you know? Well, that's actually good for, uh, people, tr troublemakers, that they can't wriggle out of it, so. Yeah. You know, you yeah, that could... That could be a complication as well. Oh, yeah, keep that in so, mind. Uh, I, we, I'm not really, really sure why we, yeah, we we just stuck there for a while. You waited a couple of minutes? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I thought, yeah, you could wait a couple of minutes, and then by then you've mustered no. up the strength to find the right answer. We started having a chat, and yeah, after the conversation. And then, yeah. yeah, and then, you know, we're still there, and we're like, well, this isn't right. Because something similar happened the other day, uh, and, um, uh, uh, supposedly a few of us got tied up somewhere and, and had to leave someone untied with us to wait a minute to untie us. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, uh, well, yeah. the main thing is you are okay. All right, you go. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't get to yell. Uh, we, you we you thought, ran off that it was, quick. It was you. fun. You, you go do your thing. Uh, it was the thought, you know. <laughs> you go, you go, uh, you go enjoy yourselves. Um, I'm going to go on oh, duty for maybe sure? like an hour. I'm going to go find Harkness and Sledge and that and just see if I can do some do some good before I go to bed tonight. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, I'm, just, just, I'm just worried, you know. Do you know, want an escort? Would you like an escort to, to you know, meet up with them? Nah, it's it's fine. I'll be fine. You sure? It's part um, of the job, ma'am. Part of the job. Okay. I'll leave it up with the... Yeah, just, yeah. If, if, if I go missing, Todd, you know where to look. George, uh, make sure you jot this down in a, even if it's a quick temporary report, so you don't forget. Yeah, all right. Okay. Will do. Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Thanks, Louisa. Uh, where do we go now? Um, oh. I guess we'll wait for daybreak. Yeah. Uh, we oh, they're going hunting. Is that door yeah. going to close? Uh, is it is it closed or is it open? Just a second. Well, it, it, it it's closed and locked for me. Okay, yeah. But it's no, a bit it, fucked. It was wide open yeah. for us, but I think it was also closed. <laughs> I've still got all the wood on the bats. Oh my... How does that? 
Oh, no capital V. Why can't I? What? What the hell? No, I don't need. I don't need one. I don't need your money. I think my character's broken. Oh no, B. Also, hey, Crow. Sorry, just a bit busy. Um, uh, incident reports are through Discord. Um, so many Discord channels. God damn it. Oh, I'm sick of writing things tonight. They will take you. But no, they took the wagon, and that's my wagon. They... God damn it. It's the ninth, the sixth, two and three, four. Twenty-one thirty. Wait. There's a pulse on the pole. Sissica Avenue. Remember Sissica? Remember Sissica? Get down from there, Zoe. Get down from there. Uh oh. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Ow. That would have hurt. Fucking Dill, where is he?
plus vite. <laughs> Little sad. There we go. Hey, Schneids. Oh, I'm doing paperwork, man. I gotta do... We gotta do the incident reports in the... In the, um... Discord. And then we do... Arrest reports in the game. It's very confusing. Very confusing. Yeah, I'm alright, Gazozo. It's just following up from something earlier that... Like, that interaction there was... While it was uncomfortable, was much more reasonable than... The preceding incident at the start of the stream that was not not okay. So I didn't. I was being make, ensuring to be on my extra best behavior there because I was not sure how that was going to go. <laughs> One of those slow burning cigarettes. Oh, the extra good car from the doctors. just gets very confusing when it's like you don't remember stuff at the doctors but then other people tell you and then they then you know you then ask other people and then you basically get all your memories back anyway it's it's very awkward i don't know i i don't i try to stay clear of that as much as possible i find it's like you're essentially finding a loophole to power game to, in some instances, so I, I try personally try to avoid it, but to each their own. How'd you get demoted, Crow? What happened? Why are there so many horses around? Poor Hughes's legs are broken. Have you seen Mr. Harkness about? 
Now I'm hoping to find him up in Valentine or something. You want me to tell you you're looking for him if I see him? Um, just tell him the witch was in town. Um, she was uh, trying to assist people with their inflictions. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe this will be the chance for you to sh see his legs. Just just to say, uh, oh. maybe re remove your pants to see if uh, the witch, uh, witch worked her magic. Keep hearing um, about his legs. I'll, I'll, I'll remind him. Yeah, just go, just quickly take them off, uh, because I think you may be fixed. Um, he has, I'll be honest, but it'd just be very funny to for you to see his, uh, his infliction. Okay, I'll, I'll let him, thanks, Alexi. Oh, no, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, please uh, let him know that, um, she now has a house, uh -huh. um, somewhere out near Bacchus, so anybody that wishes to, um, uh, get... Inflict uh, afflictions re reversed needs to go f find the location. I don't know. She basically said, uh, "Good luck uh, finding me." Uh, and if you do find me, she, she can help. Okay. I'm, I hope that I'm, I hope that makes sense to him. I'll I'll tell him. Oh, wait, I, I'll tell you. Uh, one second. I'll take off. I'll remove my. <laughs> what is he on? As you can see, I am oh. cured. Oh my God. Yeah, the, there's no longer... There's no green or pink anymore. Oh, that, that's amazing, Lexi. I'm happy for you. Everything's coming up, Alexi. Duh. So, uh, yeah, so if you uh, tell uh, tell Huckless that the witch is real, um, and she now has a location which she works out of. Okay, I will. <laughs> but good luck. It's somewhere near Bacchus. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to him. Okay. That's what Thanks, going. Alexi. Thanks, Alexi. That sounds like absolute cuckoo. Please tell him that there's a witch. Like, what? What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? There's a witch and you just got to go do this and that. Like, oh my god. What? What are you talking about? You're crazy. I need to sell some of this shit. <laughs> I've been cured. <laughs> now you can live your best life. Really? Sorry, miss. I didn't mean to push around like that. Oh, my apologies. I was standing in line. Oh, I gotta give her back a lumber axe. Whoops. I need to clear some of this shit out. Do it now while I'm out at Valentine and that. Or else I'll never get it done. Sorry, sorry, partner. Sorry to talk so Oh, long. no, no worries at all. Sorry for running in like that. My apologies. Oh, so it's going to get 30 more dollars. Oh, wait, what's that for? Harkness should still be around.
turn. Private, private beats. Howdy, partner. It's going all right. How you going? Been a, been a night with lots of ups and downs. I'm very thankful I don't have work tomorrow. Tomorrow's a public holiday and I can do some bed rotting and have some depression naps. <laughs> You've had a good weekend though? Living life by the wheel. Is that like literal? Like lots of driving? <laughs> My god, so many woodland critters running around. Just a metaphor? Ah. Oh yeah, like till the wheels fall off. I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
too real. What the fuck? What the hell? Um... What the fuck is Pana? Had it, had it, Pana. Howdy, howdy. Do, do you know what the hell's happening over there? I have no idea. I just came here to see if I could get um some stuff done to my horse. And, uh, yeah. yeah I... It looks like some ceremony, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little <laughs> concerned. Looks a bit uh yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking big cunt, aren't you? <laughs> Fuck you. Big cunt, bro. Jeez. Howdy, bro. Nice, Howdy. You know what the hell's going on down there? Uh, someone was being rude to the woman. I think uh, they're just trying to teach some fellow a lesson. I think that lesson was just taught. Oh, yeah. Do you know why there's so many wagons? Yeah, that's me. Uh, I can't get the right wagon now. These are... Uh, none of these actually belong to me, apparently. I can't access the... Uh, oh, so you're just try going wagon by wagon until you get yours? Yeah, I, I only have this problem here. Yeah. Howdy. Howdy? Gold? Mr. Hughes. I need you to know that that was done for a reason, whatever you may or may not have saw. Um, it was about dirt. It was dirt. That's all you need to know. So dirt was the one surrounded by people with guns and boots. Yes, sir. He was he was being misogynistic, and you know how we deal with those things. Listen, he he's having a sleep. The docks will be round. Okay. No, I've I've been given a pretty good, you know, heads up about dirt. You so... understand what he's been doing? I couldn't let that slide. If you want to take me in for it, that's fine. No, I. But, uh, the way I saw it, it was it was justice right there. Okay, it just... I i thought it was you, Mr. Gold. I thought that was you out there. Oh, me getting hit on? I thought that was you being surrounded. Don't no, you worry. No. If he was ever surrounded, I wouldn't just be standing there hey, in action. Hey, don't mind me. I just got to take a knee. I'm, get, I'm real stressed out of that. I, didn't, I don't I like would, doing that. I know. I'm not a violent man. I just... Listen, you understand, Mr. Hughes, what he's been doing. You know, we... Yeah, no, I... Yeah. No, so, I, I so get I, it. I, yeah, I had to. I had to. I'm, I'm happy to face... A, Assault or, or whatever he wants to press the charges, but uh, I think he and I were on the same level and he understood why it was happening. He, Mr. He Hughes and I had a long extended conversation about gonna... about dirts on our hunting trip. So. I hope you yeah, did so have fun, recklessness, because I'm very oh, concerned about what I just saw. All right, well that 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 puts me at ease. But Miss Will, do you have a minute? Uh, of course. Okay, it's not about Mr. Dirt. It's about oh. someone else. I thought you were about to slap the cuffs on. 
No, 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 no. I I saw firsthand, and you've told me about dirt and yeah. and everything. So I I totally get it. I just came to tell you, you need to be you need to be careful if you're in and around the Blackwater area over the next wow. few days, okay? So when I got back to Blackwater, um, and then with Woodman, and like when when we left uh, Louisa and Woodman by themselves, uh, when I got back into town. I was held at gunpoint by uh, Mr. John Black and uh, his wife, Ivory. Right. And uh, they were demanding, they were saying they were going to shoot me if I didn't apologize about shooting her earlier. And you know how confusing and crazy that situation is. And they were demanding, well, you know, and I was questioning, well, how does everybody have such a good memory from the doctors yeah, better than I me? I wonder. And so then they were, they were, you know, trying to deduce, well, how do you know? And I'm like, well, you know, people told me, and they're like, what people? And so I tried to make it vague that it was the department, but then they were mentioning names, you know, Harkness, myself, Woodman, and they mentioned your name. Right. You're worried about me? So that they, they said that they might be something along the lines of making Blackwater very uncomfortable for you or something like that. Blackwater's already uncomfortable for me. I think I said that, but <laughs> but it almost sounded like they might come out and find you so i would just um i i will be safe in valentine as you saw what mr gold just did for me i i almost felt like i don't need to say anything because uh if if there if that is how valentine handles people being mistreated then uh i would i would uh i would uh i would no, I, I appreciate the warning i do i i understand um i you know when i i spoke to them because i did say that I didn't see much because I was too far away. I just said that I, I knew it was you and that I came to help you. I, I just threw you on my horse and got out of there. That's, I tried to explain that you were simply the one that got me back to the doctors, but they just... I said to the guy there, I said, you grab them, I'll grab George, because I knew he wasn't going to take you. That's I tried to explain that. It's just they... they I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what they're capable of, but they just they shoot down the truth and they just getting away with nonsense so just you be, be really right. careful because yeah. i you know my patrols that take me all over the place and i like the law department we might not necessarily be around when something bad happens so maybe just um come in and out of valentine as much as you can i will and uh i'll send you telegrams every so often to let you know i'm all right yeah just, yeah just check in whenever you enter a new town like if i'm around i'll keep an eye on it. it's just my work will take me elsewhere and i just i can't help but I, I can't help the the thought of someone else getting hurt when it's on account of my doings. That, as as you know, that 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 that, that worries me. Remember what I said though. It's it's another thing that ain't your fault. Well, Other people's anger ain't your fault, even if they're dumb. I guess, but it's just it's their If anger... anything happened to me, it wouldn't be your fault. All right, I'll I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind. Just I'll still feel mighty awful. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll it'll blow over. They'll get over it. They'll find something else to be angry about. Okay. All right. Well, I just I wanted to make sure that on my patrol, I found you to tell you that just just to make sure. Okay. Well, I'm just glad that they didn't. You know, you said they had you, so I'm just glad you didn't get hurt again. Oh, they had two guns at me, and then they had a gun at Woodman's head, and then <laughs> Louisa rocked up. I was oh, that God. was also gone through my head. You know, seeing Woodman get shot or Louisa, I just that was not something I was willing to let happen either. Right. So if Louisa and Woodman didn't go on their date? Uh, no, they uh, they they stopped in. To, well, they came to just check on me first, and then they, they've gone now. They, they, they should be out somewhere right now. Right. Well, I'm happy about that. At least some joy coming from it. That's right. Okay. Well, as long as Woodman behaves himself. Oh, he, he, he better not get his hand stuck in any goddamn milk buckets. <laughs> he might. <laughs> He'll, he'll find, if there's one out in the forest, he'll find it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate coming to warn me, and you knew how to find me in Valentine, so... I I was not... I thought I maybe stumbled across a Valentine cult or something. <laughs> I thought it looked a bit cult-like. It, it would have been worse if it was a night we're around the fire. I was I was a little scared. I, I was a little scared. Especially as the group of men that's in town at the moment are all shirtless with animal skins on their heads. Yeah! They're look, looking a bit like a cult, but... Mr. Gold's just trying to look out for me. No, that's that's fantastic, and I hope Mr. Gold stays safe too. Um, Did you hear what happened in St. Danny? No. There wasn't an, uh, an issue in St. Danny where Mr. Gold went with a group of people to have a chat. 
and turn violent very quickly. Oh. They got, uh, people open fire on him. And, uh, yeah, he got out fine, but some people didn't. And so they've come back to Valentine. Oh, my God. So I'm expecting some of this violence to happen in St. Denny's going to come across to the West. All right. Well, I'll, again, I will try and keep, um, like, Hognes and Sledge, when I bumped them in earlier today, they seem fully aware of the gold situation that right. we need to be routinely checking in at Valentine's. But I'll make sure that that keeps happening. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right. Valentine is way more self-sufficient than anywhere like Blackwater. I'm I'm beginning to get that. Uh, I'm beginning to get that impression. <laughs> I'll probably uh, be around and then. I've got, I don't have Jeffrey's telegram number. I was going to send him a telegram to see if he's around for some hunting, but uh, haven't been able to. Yeah, I need to find that. Got to get, got to get I that damn to... elusive beaver. Yeah, if I don't see him, I might have to head down to Armadillo. So. Ah, right, well, you be but safe. I'll, I'll keep you informed of where I am. All right. I appreciate it. I better, I better get to Emerald Ranch. Keep on the patrol. I still haven't found Harkness and Sledge since earlier. Oh, you today. heading to Emerald Ranch? Yeah, I'll head out there and then I'll come back and back to Strawberry, back to Black. Do you want me to ride with you? Oh, look, I only you know if it's not out of your way or anything. Well, I've been be intending right. to meet Mister Gold's missus. Oh, well, yeah, if you're heading out to Emerald Ranch anyway, well, then come on. Sounds like a plan. I just, I couldn't believe all them wagons. The fellow was having trouble getting his out of the stable. Yeah, he was trying to do a delivery, and it wasn't working for him. See, that amount of wagons, and then yet, like, a circle of people wearing animal skins around someone, that, yep. I... And then me with two two shirtless men side by side next to me as well. I'm thinking, kind of a bit strange. is Miss Wheeler who she says she is? You think I'm the leader of a cult? Like, is she the ringleader or something? Maybe I have secrets you don't know yet. Shit. Yo, uh, any of you guys deputies? Uh, this gentleman here is a <laughs> captain of the police department. Yo, uh, can I speak with you quickly? Sure. Um, so I'm a recruit, yeah? Yep. Um, you know, like, the slash Lord Duty thing? Uh, have you done, have you uh, done any training down in New Austin? So, yeah, I was down in Armadillo with Wolf. Do you yep. know Wolf? So I, I did, I did my training with him, and he told me to come, go up to Blackwater, but when I was in Blackwater, there was no one there. Then I had to take a nap, and I've come back, and I can't do my uh, slash lord duty anymore. Do you know anything about that? Oh uh, no, we sign in at a, uh, a sign-in board in the Blackwater office. Say again. Uh, we we don't we have to uh, sign like we have to write down our name to sign in at the, at the Blackwater office on a board. Um, has anyone inducted oh. you into the West Department? Um. I'm not entirely sure, because I did my stuff at Armadillo, and no one was at Blackwater. I, I just took a nap, and I got back. And, you, and uh, you're all trained up, finished? Wolf said you'd, yeah, you'd completed that. everything? Well, we, we did like a, there was like a thing where we caught these like criminals, because they were doing drugs, and then you just said, go up to Blackwater, you're done here. Oh, that seems quicker than the others, but yeah, if you said it's fine. Well, uh, you're heading to Blackwater now? Yeah, but I just wanted to ask, because early I was doing... Hmm? So I would put in the command um, in, like, the thing in the top left, Lord Duty, but and then I would be able to go on duty, but I can't do that anymore. Yeah, you... you, you we, we don't do that to begin with, and you can't do anything like that until you've been um, hired by the West Department. Yeah, so I think I... Because I was able to do it earlier. Down in New Austin? Um, down in Blackwater and Armadillo. Is it because I'm in a different state? Well, this is this counts as the West jurisdiction. Have you spoken to a Sheriff Bowman or Captain Harkness? No, no, I haven't seen anyone in Blackwater. You're the first person I've seen since. Oh, well, are you only myself, Jack Harkness, and Sheriff Bowman can uh, hire people into the West Department. So I'm not sure. That must have been a new uh, Texas Rangers thing. Yes. Yeah, so wait. So what do I need to do then? Uh, well, I... I need to head down the Blackwater. Yeah, I can head down there and I can meet you there soon. Um, yeah, if you could, that'd be helpful. I just feel like we need a process because it could get to the point where just just about anybody says they've done training. Like we, I think we need a formal letter. I think that'll be something I can. Uh... 
I think you need I'm to get in, in contact room. with Wolf. Hmm. But yeah, all right. Well, I mean, I'll, yeah, I, I definitely did train him with him. I was down in armadillo with him. You got a coat? Say again. You have a coat? Uh, no. It's just you. Know, we had three other recruits, and they were all. I've got a coat. If that's what you. Need. I mean, you can check the recruits thing in the Telegram. I, I was in there. Well, let me let me uh, just take my notes. I'm confused. What's your name, partner? It's a uh, Richard Gray. Richard Gray. Just checking. Yeah, also. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. yeah, I see an, oh, yeah, I see a name. Hey, sorry, hands up. Forgot. Wait, what happened? This is how we respond to gunshots in Valentine. Oh, where was that from? No, I think it was over the place. Oh, I think he's hunting, hunting, he's hunting the fucking... It looked like a rabbit to me. Yeah, don't worry. It's just, yeah, <laughs> like I said, non-violent man. You should just raise them hands up and do... Whoop. All right, Miss hey, Wheeler. I'll, I'll have to head down to Blackwood instead of Animal Ranch. So I'll talk to you later, right. okay? Yeah, I'll see you around. A quick question, Mr. Hughes. Could anything be done? Because if that Mr. Dirt still be being naughty, is, is there something that could be done in the in the uh, matter of the law that maybe it could be, I don't know, charged for, uh, maybe I don't know. An other, order that'll make him stay away from me? Harassment or, or maybe can I, like, can I get, uh, like stalking or something? I, honestly, if I wasn't busy right now, or next time you see a, a lawman like Hognus or someone that's free, I would, I'd, I'd give them like a, a report to write up. About oh yeah, yeah thing absolutely. To get this sorted. And I'll let you know if he comes back, uh, or it says anything wrong. I'm okay with him being around. I told him I'd be his friend if he was, if he was reasonable. But like, yeah, we we need a formal complaint, and then we need enough of, enough information to, you know, make sure it's not just you know. Yeah. Hearsay. Hearsay, yeah, yeah. yeah so that, that makes sense to me. Shit, yeah. But yeah, if I wasn't busy now, oh, I would... Fuck. Oh, fuck! Yeah, I gotta get back down to Blackwater, so... I'll have to... All right. I'll have Thank to you very much, yeah, Mr. Hughes. You have a good day now. No problem. Hope a... Sometimes oh, I oh, wanna... Oh, Val... Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. You're right, Mr. Hughes. Hold on, Richard. I need to have a bath real quick. Yeah, shit, you better get a bath, there. With, well, if you find you yourself in hell, yeah, think about, if you find yourself in hell, think about fix me, but don't use it unless you have to. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. Oh you can God. open the button. Oh, you have a good day, man. All right, Richard, jump on. If you don't have a horse, let's get you down to Blackwater and get you all inducted. Bye, <laughs> See you later. Yeah, bye, thank you. Yeah, it's just, yeah, so I can, did you check? I can confirm it if you need. I see, yeah, I saw your name on the list in my notes. I just, uh... Yeah, so this morning, I went down to Armadillo and I did a... I did train... I went through this thing with Wolf and some other guy. And we went and just got these, like, four guys that were, like, making drugs. So we got them. He told me to go up to Blackwater. And there was no one there, so I just took a nap and I've just come back. So he, he said that your training is complete down there. I'm not entirely sure what he said, but I'm pretty sure he said I was done in Armadillo. And then you'd go up to the deputies and... Uh, Blackwater. 
thought, I thought, I just, I just thought people were trained for a bit longer than a day down there. Maybe, maybe I wasn't finished. He just wanted me to go up to Martwood. I'm not entirely sure. Because yeah, I know Harkness will sometimes hear. Uh, he'll hear in advance that people are coming, but I've I've never received a telegram like that. Yeah, but you know that, that's what I was trying to say earlier. Because when I was down in Armadillo. Wolf told me to do slash law duty, which would put me on duty. But now every time I do the command, it doesn't do anything. I suppose if he's if he's a uh, if he's um said you're complete, he's probably taking you out of the ledger of the Texas Rangers. So yeah, that won't oh, work so maybe anymore. Maybe I need to go sign up for the Black Order one. Yeah, that's what we're going to do now. You, yeah, you can't. Oh okay. Yeah, only myself, Harkness, and Bowman can. In dock people. Captains and above. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah, I think I finished my training then. Hmm. Maybe you were one of the guys I needed to meet earlier, but you might not have been online. You might have been having a nap. Did he, um... So, what, so what, you just helped bust some drug dealers? So, basically, he, like, checked oh, the record, shit. then he... Right? What was that guy back the there? hell? There was a guy over there. I think he's fine. Don't know what, he, yeah, don't know what he's trying yeah, anyway, to do. So, yeah, new no, guy. No, so basically, he like introduced me to the, you know, the slash reports thing. Yep. So he introduced me to that. He told me all about that, and then he said, "Go get changed." So I got yeah. my vest on and stuff. All those people with Audi. Oh, okay. And then he said, we're going to go bust some guys. There was four guys doing a drug deal and we arrested two of them and we killed two of them. And then he said, you're done here. Go up to Blackwater. And find did, he, deputies there. did he teach you about like legal codes or anything? He, there was something penal codes he told me about. So I think I was just doing training down there, maybe, and maybe the guys in Blackwater men to tell me what to do. Yeah, I'm just trying to... I feel like there's something that I'm missing. I mean, I can probably ask Wolf, but he might not be online right now. On the what? Oh, awake, sorry. I'm in awake. I'm still new to this, sorry. But is there anything else I need to know? Um, like more laws and stuff? Well, yeah, there's a fair bit you still learn on the job. Um, like a lot of the uh, the rule book and the law book and everything's been, still being written in some ways. Yeah, yeah. So we're still sort of figuring stuff out as we go as well. Um, I just thought people, I just thought the Rangers tra trained people for more than a day is all. That's the impression I've been under. Well, I remember Wolf said we're going to do a hostage situation as, like, training. But then he, there was that call in for the drug and, like, thing. So he just got me straight to it. Maybe it's because I did that he thought I was ready. I don't know.
Howdy, uh, Bruge Mac? Is that how you pronounce it? Also, Frog, I'm like, that'd be nice to hear about a new Banjo Kazooie game. Alright, let's head inside. Alright, yes, earlier I could unlock these doors, but I don't think I can. Let me let me just give me a minute. I'm just gonna check other notes, see if I can find out anything else. All right, noise. Oh, I'll get that. That might answer what I need to find out. Sorry, second. Hello? Hello, this is George Hughes speaking. This is Will Sigmund Gaming. Um, I, I steal stuff and put it in my carpentry business. I am a fraud. So, so who's this and where are you calling from? <laughs> my name is Will Smith Gaiman and I kidnap people and steal their wood and put it in my wood store. Where's your wood store? In Blackwater. Oh, well, thanks for letting us know. Well, good, sir. Rhodes is out. Goodbye. Um, what?
That was might be the worst prank call I've ever heard. Sorry, partner. Still just sifting through, trying to find some explanation. No, no worries. So what, what's going on now then? Well, I'm just checking records. It's just usually procedure is the Rangers will either make sure they get in contact with us in advance to tell us clearly who's coming or they'll deliver people personally. Oh, well, I was told to come here like five hours ago. Well, that's the thing. They wouldn't just tell you to come here without telling someone to be here ready for you or they would or they'd come here with you. Oh, really? That's that's the general consensus I'm finding in my notes. Well, I've definitely done my training. We can go down to Armadillo if you want. My jurisdiction, see, I, I ain't riding down to Armadillo right now without knowing that someone's there. I'll call, see if I can get a hold of someone. Wait, so you can call people through this phone? Yeah, it's a neat little device, but yeah, I'll see if I can call a... I'll try and call Armadillo and Tumbleweed, see if I can get a hold of someone. I'm drunk, man. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop calling this number if you're not a law officer. Sorry, sir. But Mick Gaben is a bad man. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yikes. Cringe. Oh, they don't have a fucking phone down there. <sighs> I just remember they don't have phones down there. Really? Yeah. So, look, I'm really sorry about this, partner, but it's just... They, we've had no, there's no word of you coming. Uh, no, no other, no other officers have, you know, verbally told the others that you're coming. Um, like, I, I want to believe you, but, you know, people could just say, yeah, I've finished training. But we haven't heard I mean, anything clear from the Rangers. Check, um, go to, if you want, you can check the telegram. There's messages there of it. What am I looking for there? Go to the recruit section if you can check that. I don't know if you're in there. I was recruit training. Told to come down. No, it's just the recruit bit. I can only see recruit training. Oh, I I was messaged in the recruit bit with like a cactus. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see that, but that's the thing. We we try to do everything we can in country, so for us yeah, to yeah. actually be, you know, properly being responsible to take someone in, we need either something in writing or, you know, something solid verbally or, you know, being personally escorted up here by a ranger. Oh, so I'm going to have to, what, go back down to Omdillo and find someone? I'm afraid so, partner, because I, I, I can't, I would not be, it would, I would not be following due diligence if I just recruit someone without assurance of that. Like, for the other day, we had three people arrive from the Rangers who were uh, handed over to us by Wolf in person on the road between Blackwater and Armadillo, which made that legitimate. Yeah, yeah. We had another one who, uh, Wolf managed to contact uh, Captain Harkness in advance to, uh, to assure him that this other fellow was coming, so we know. I haven't heard anything. Mm, okay, well, I'll go back down then, then. Yeah, let them know that, yeah, we need to, you know, we need to receive uh, proper contact from a, a Texas Ranger, uh, written, verbally, or in person. All right, yeah, no worries. I'll go back down there, then. All right, sorry about that, partner. Nah, it's fine. It's not your fault. Just, there's some real troublemakers around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no worries. It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. No worries. If I'm not around, hopefully Harkness is or Bowman. 
Yeah, okay. Alright, have a good day then. No worries, partner. I'm so confused. It's so confusing. It's so very confusing. Like, that just... I don't know. Something just does not sit right. Um, something does not feel right about that. So I'm going to have to get to the bottom of that. Close enough. 